Hello. It's the Yak. Promo code Yak. Roback.com. R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. Promo code Yak. 20% off your first purchase. Keep going. Keep going. Joggers. Uh Uh-huh. Shorts. Sure. Fleeces. And? Vests. Yep. Polos. Yep. And Q-Zips, Dan. Q-Zips. Roback.com. Promo Mm. code Yak. 20% off your first purchase. Willie is here. Willie C. Boys. And, Will, do you know this person's name? Liam. Yeah. (laughs) Wait. That's so much worse for Mook. Yeah, it's so much worse. Wait, what the fuck? Because you also (laughs) called Mook green shirt guy, right? And he's in a very green shirt. He got the name. Yeah, that uh, listen, that was a that was a moment. I fucked up and I felt bad about What'd it. What'd you call me Cri- Charlie? Uh no, I don't even think it was I close. I, I think it was Sam. Sam. Yeah, it was Sam. Yeah. But you got Liam right away. Yeah, like when I mm-hmm. from that moment too, like going around going around and when I met Liam, I'm thinking to myself, I have to remember. You try to squash the idea. I have to remember deep. another ginger's name. Yeah. You know he's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> that noise. For real? Yeah, dude. You guys do have the exact same shade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Down to like you guys did Pantone the check? The nano hue. Yeah. I'm trying Down to, to the nano we need to get Reve- We need to get Ravel to Pantone check them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, we need- I mean, Sherwin Williams. We need- How do we make this? We need someone to get me and Liam side by side and do the, uh, this is what they would look like if they were black and Chinese. Oh, yeah. yeah. Always, always that. Yeah. Yeah. So are you guys related? Yes. Yeah. You got gingers could pull that off. Yeah, they, they can always be, oh, that's my What are we trying to pull off? Being related. Being related. Yeah. If you guys are related, I'm just saying. We are. Ginger. <laughs> Gingerhood's a family. Yeah. It is. And I I'm partially in it. Nah. Mm. Nah. Come on. Let me nah. in. Nah. You're our. You don't want that. Do you have, oh, do you have siblings? Yep. And what is their situation? Very much so blonde. Oh, no. Luke's got a real Italian brother. I got an Italian brother, so yeah. you got screwed. <laughs> No, I won. What? He did win. Well, is that won. how you say it? Yeah. yeah. You how, feel like you won? Yeah, yeah, you how is that, that a win? win? You know, we're a dying breed. We're going extinct. I'm one of the only ones out there that's that's still doing it, is proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> doing, doing the thing. You're only one, of, yes. only one out there still doing, doing it. Doing the thing. Still like, going still strong. Lead, still breathing air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're a rare commodity. I like that. That's a good perspective. Ginger's got to start taking pride, man. And why are they going extinct? Nobody wants to fuck us. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Mutants, essentially. <Yeah. laughs> We're a genetic mistake. Uh, uh, so, yeah, Liam's going to do the yak challenge. We promised him yesterday when Brandon and Titus get here. I think they're doing a dog walk draft. I think mm. that's what it was. And Titus had to go do something at his house. Uh-oh. Pipe yeah. burst? I don't know. Uh-oh. He seemed, he seemed pipe. It's nervous. always a pipe. He seemed nervous? Or yeah. he seemed frantic about it. Uh-oh. 36 is when you got to start worrying about pipes and furnaces. Yeah? yeah. I'm worried about pipes now. Really? Yeah. And never even but I almost had a pipe mind. boo-boo. That's right. Oh, you almost died. What? Your shit almost exploded. What? Or maybe that is that not you? No. No, that that is him. He's forgetting. What's happened to me? Yeah, you got CO your poison. furnace. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was my furnace. I'm talking about pipes. Pipes. Yeah. I was I hanging know. from my sprinkler system. I didn't know. <laughs> No, I wasn't trying to kill myself. Oh, what? I was just, I was just doing this. So I, was, I was climbing around my apartment. And then um, when I, when Gay Pat tweeted a picture of me, uh, he's just Pat now. But yeah, he's, he's Barstool Pat. Bar- Barstool Pat. Um, Which actually is. That's gayer. That's, that's, yeah, that's Gay Pat. <laughs> yeah, that's Gay Pat. <laughs> Synonym. Um, somebody responded, was like, hey, don't ever touch that pipe. That's your sprinkler system. And I was dangling from it. Ooh. Yeah. Just yeah. toying around. I mean, you do live in a jungle gym, so I get How could why I not? You yeah. Climb up there. How could I not? Yeah, you got to touch the pipes. Um, so Kyle, you're gonna speak at a class? Not, not quite. Uh huh. I got not a DM from Explain a professor this. at yeah. Loyola. Okay. And he was like, "Hey, uh, you and Kyle are two non-traditional guys, non-traditional sports media guys, and we'd love for you to speak to the class. We're gonna have a panel of traditional media guys, and then you, and you can talk to the people that want to go in a non-traditional way, or talk." You know, do that. 
And I said yes for both of us. No. And uh, I will open up for Kyle. I'm going to do a tight that. three minutes. Not do it. It's fun. Wait, he's why? Keynote. Kyle, why? Kyle's keynoting. I have. I don't like that audience. I don't. Like... Kyle, you speak to a bigger audience every day. I don't want to get out. I don't have anything to say. But Let's make that's it up. The that's why you're beauty of it. That's yes. not fun for me. No, but Kyle. Some people get off on that. Kyle, it's not about you. It's about the kids. Yes, man. The, the kids you. get a day off. They get their two heroes to come give a speech. Yeah, give the back. Kids don't know us. Yeah, nope, they not do. A clue. <laughs> Maybe no, one they two. know. It's a they said they're embarrassing. In Are they in college? I hope I'm not getting gut, it's but college? this guy seems yeah, to college. be college. We've done it a couple you? times. Yeah. Sports management. So Do like you a, think you like oh, yeah. impacted lives doing it? No, definitely not. <laughs> but it was fun. Yeah, it's, it'll be fun. And Mook is going to make a vlog of it. And it'll be yes. our prep. And maybe no. we bomb. That's like asking Sam Dollard to commentate the X Games. <laughs> Sam Dollard? <laughs> Who the fuck yeah, is Sam Dollard? He's the... The knock kneed boy, the uncoordinated rocket power boy. What? <laughs> oh, so you, you knew Squid's Squid? last name? Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> His last name's Dullard? Yeah. I didn't know he actually had him. I thought it was just <laughs> Wait, Yeah, Squid. TJ, you back there? I don't know what Can this is. Can we fact is. check this? Welcome back, TJ. It's in my head. I think I looked at his yeah. fan page. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way his last name's Dullard. Don't ever leave again. It has to be. And if it is, pretty it's positive. an amazing pool. What a pull. What a pull. Why would happen? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nothing. Stephanie was incredible at her job. She's just, she's a chick. So she's so. a chick and yeah. she changed the vibe. Steph, you back there? <laughs> she, she's back. Yeah, How are your she's... DMs? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Stephanie was incredible. She also, the fact she dressed up yesterday was such a ride or die. I loved mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So shout out Stephanie. Fantastic. And uh, if any the... chance to get Doug back on the, the keyboard. Oh, yeah. Doug was a lightning fast. Yeah. Doug was sport. nice. Wordy. Wait, so who's Sam Dillard? <laughs> that's Squid. Squid from Rocket Power. Squid. I'd never. This is a generational thing. I oh. miss Rocket Power. Yeah, that's fair. You watch Rocket Power? Yeah. How old are you? 34. Oh, I guess you that watch is. Boy Meets How old World. Are you? About to be 39. <laughs> yeah, maybe you just missed <laughs> two weeks. Yeah, but, hey, yeah. Trying to lay it up. Yeah. Boy Meets World? Of course. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Well, well, Big Cat also hey, Arnold, he hasn't watched SpongeBob, right? Cat dog? I, not, I never watched SpongeBob. Liam, that was an alley. No cat dog. You, 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 dunk you, on him. You with that hate fact. Boy Meets no. World. Though. You thought Boy Meets World no. sucked. Don't. Do it. You told me that. You're like, Boy oh, Meets World was such an overrated show. You said Boy the Boy writing and concept was pure dog shit. Yeah, you're like the acting was great, but man, was it not believable writing. Mm -hmm. uh, limp plat. I agree dudes. with that. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was amazing. His, his dad created and wrote Boy Meets World. That's right. <laughs> <You're> not... <laughs> That's right. Because your dad was here like a couple weeks yeah. ago. Oh, yeah. He did. And somebody he pulled me aside and they go, you know who that is? I was like, oh, no, who's that? He's like, uh, that's the creator of Boy Meets World. I don't think he was a creator. I think we're kind of overdoing that, but main writer, yes. You're yeah. not even so in your writer. dad's top five creations. Wow. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh. Yeah, because it's your blonde brother. Two blonde who siblings. came first? Boy you or Topang <laughs> Topanga, number one? <laughs> Yeah, you're the right. Did your dad create so Feeny number two? You? I suppose You're so. seventh Feeny's on your dad's creation. came up with the name, I think, because Topanga's a street name in uh, in L.A. I think that's where he got from. Oh. Topanga Street? So your dad was one of the first writers on Boy Meets World. The writer. One of the four, yeah. One of the main four. Man, oh, the big great. four. I'll tell you what, that story arc of Corey with the, with the gal when they went skiing and cheating on Topanga. Yeah. Do you like the show? I have not really watched it. What? What? Oh, I've, wa I've watched bits and pieces. My brother's watched the whole thing multiple times. Oh, yeah. You're yeah, you're way down yeah, the list yeah. then. Yeah. Your dad's the man. I watched the he whole grew, football Sunday with him. a lot of resentment. Oh, yeah. I, and I kept telling him, like, quiet down. Like, you, no. He, I, you, he kept cheering against your bet. But it was okay because he was, I could tell, like, he's like a, a good, like, hang guy. I, I, you get vibes right away of like this guy's a hang guy or not. He was a hang guy. So you're the rebellious child. Were you watching Sister Sister? <laughs> Fuck you, Dad. Family matters. Like Tia and Tamara. <laughs> Sabrina. Yeah. Clarissa. I really Clarissa TV. explains it all. Yeah. I, I yeah, did you were. Have, I did have a fun fact for for you and KB though. By oh. all means. Sister, sister. Violet Beauregard. Yeah. Oh yeah. You guys are very familiar with. Very that. familiar with Violet. Tended Violet to be. I never so. seen it. But yeah. What? I've never, never seen, seen any it? of the Wonka movies. What, dude? What? That's All we true. talk about is Willy Wonka, Bethany Hamilton, and yeah, I know. I just Simon Birch. Are you 0 for yeah. 3 on those movies? You don't I've, even I've know? only seen clips of Simon Birch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't even... Do you even know who Violet Beauregard is? I now know what she looks like and what her like basic gist is. 
what the fuck, man? So this is just something for me. Yeah, this yeah. is just for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. the actor, Anna Sophia Robb, mm -hmm. was uh, an actor in the movie that my dad made. So very close ties to the Violet Beauregard. She was also Soul Surfer, Bethany Hamilton. Indeed, yes. yes. That's Common crazy. theme. So Wild. Get her that one I was only like 13% sure about, but yes. You so wait, what, what, explain more. Explain like yeah, she was in she was in a movie that my dad made well, called well, yeah. Doubting Thomas, but then the editors kind of changed the name and kind of scuffed the movie, so it wasn't as good as it could have. What been. was it called? Doubting Thomas. Doubting Th changed to something that I forget. The kid from FedEx and uh, Cheaper by the Dozen yep. was in it. Okay. The kid from FedEx. Yeah, the that? kid no, from FedEx. The kid from FedEx from Cheaper, by, from the Cheaper by the Dozen. There he is. That's your dad. Love, I love your dad. Your dad will DM me uh, and like comment on shit that I'm doing and be like, "My ginger does it this way." Oh, I like it. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's he says, a great dude. He says he my is, ginger a lot. He is quite the follow on Twitter. He, oh, your dad he's on that? We should get him and Doug Winoy together. Oh, yeah. yeah, in the same room. Oh, yeah. yeah, Liam, what's his uh, what's his? At Blutman, I think it is that something. Um, Mark Blutman. His audience just does not care at all when he tweets about my brother or I, but he'll just spam tweet to nobody. <laughs> but then when he tweets about anything else, you know, gets good stuff. When he okay. tweets about me, nothing. <laughs> the the people Whoa. That's him? Years ago. Yeah, he looks not, good. not currently. Yeah, no, I know I I mean I met him. <laughs> yeah, he's the man. L G Let's go. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, well, what's, what's his gripped name's catchphrase? Gripped was a show he did. Oh. oh. Six time Emmy nominee. Well, he's a ghost writer? Is he still No, writing? that was a show. That was ghost writer was a show. That filmed in Toronto. Oh, that's oh, Canada. Like, is he still writing stuff today? Yes. Like uh, network stuff or his own like. He said projects? he's making a movie that he wants me and Dave to be in. He He is. Yeah, he is writing like. He's had, he has ideas for movies and, and shows and stuff that he's still trying to get out there. That's yeah, he was. it was weird, though, because he was like, I want you guys to be in this movie, but first you need to come to my hotel room. I was like, what? <laughs> mm, <love. laughs> classic, classic, Mark. <laughs> did, he, did he do anything with the uh, Girl Meets World? Yeah. He got canceled for it. He got canceled? Really? They tried, got canceled? Yeah, they, no, they tried canceling him because he did an episode on autism. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why the fuck were they canceled for? <laughs> you gotta wonder. Gee. What was the episode like? What, what was what was the uh, premise of the episode? I don't remember. Was it what? a bad representation of autism? I don't know. It was a representation. I don't, I don't really remember. I didn't really watch much of that show either. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. Did you ever get to meet uh, Mr. Feeney? I think so, yeah. You don't just doesn't really yeah, put an impression Feeney. on you, yeah. I don't think you guys know how my brain operates. Oh, no, we know. We know. <laughs> we know. But we know. That's why you're on the program. Yeah. 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 You know. Uh -huh. Hey, apologies. You guys do know how the brain operates. <laughs> Precisely how. Well, you, I don't. I, no, you know. Over, uh -huh. over three last night on the tennis Wait. parlay. No, one of them won. No, no well, one didn't. of the guys. It didn't <laughs> win. The parlays went over to one of the guys won. Zapiri. No, it didn't Italian win because I put in up. Zhang instead of Shang. Oh, oh that's that, your own racism. That, yeah. that Shanged was, instead of Shanged? He went you for, never Shang when you should Shang. I, I, I've, 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 that was many a time. I would not have advised it, advised you to take Zhu Shen Zhang against Ugo Humbert. I'm a big fan of Ugo. Is that one of your guys? I would consider him one of them, yes. He reps Lacoste. He uh, <laughs> is from France. He's lefty. He's dealing with a bit of a leg injury coming into the Aussie Open. He's got a mean forehand. This, I, like I mean, Lacoste. Liam, this is Liam. Liam is I also like everything. Jane. He's going to be the biggest guy at Barstool. He's the best. Yeah. Three days? Yeah. Yeah, I can't really believe it. It is still blowing my mind that you're here, Liam, because remember, we were talking. Was it When did we first start talking? Like two years ago? Something like that. I probably DM'd you even <laughs> earlier than that. I DM'd him in like 2019. I really? Didn't see it till a few months ago. Yeah. I was trying to. You you interviewed Google a couple other places too that that sucked, and I was trying to be like, keep going, and then, and then <laughs> but then you got here. Keep going, little man. I, well, I felt wait, bad. Wait, wait, wait. So what was the DM? Uh, what he was, was just asking for like help or like he wanted to get into everything, and I was like, we're not get into content. Yeah, we're not hiring right now. I've he's been social. trying for a he's long social. time. And so he, yeah, he runs this account. I followed this account forever. Oh, shit. You run that? So I was yeah. giving him advice, trying to, you know, help him along. And he's like, I got an interview here. And I was like, that's going to suck. And then. Uh, it probably did, yeah. Yeah. And I was just like, keep going. And then finally, like, 
Chuck and Gaz, like, I was like, this kid is, like, really good. And then they, they saw it. So he's, he's a weapon. Mm-hmm. Liam's a weapon online. Mm-hmm. I've been trying you to need guys like this for a long time. Yeah. Long time. And a weapon behind the scenes, just scouting out potential stars. Yeah, he's he's yeah. we got a whole list. We're gonna unveil it. We gotta get the Liam's list. He's I came up with a senior, list. senior draft analyst, right? Yeah, he's our senior draft analyst now. Actually, so you'll be reporting to him on the draft show. Mm-hmm. To Liam? Yeah. yeah we he's don't do boss. player comparison. Are you doing the draft show this year? Yeah, but he's get ready to learn Liam, buddy. He's running. <laughs> uh, yeah, we he's got do, an eye for talent. We don't do player comparisons around here, man. No, no, no. It's anti player. We don't? No. Oh. No. Oh. We don't do player comparisons around here. I've man. talked to players about that. They don't really like that. Yeah. They don't want to be compared to another player. Or what but, if it's a good player? But they don't care. They think they're better than that guy. No. Yes. No, no, no. no. Oh, what's I Will's? Guess Will yeah, is yeah. I was like, oh, I, don't have, yeah, I don't have a comparison for Will. He's was, got little Ray Lewis in him. The murder. <laughs> Bear Rude. <laughs> I was telling Nick I came up with some more of the, the Pokemon comparison. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. We yeah, compared I did Pokemon. like I didn't know what you were I was saying. thinking like not everybody gets Pokemon, so maybe we could compare them to like entrees as well. I think that would be a digestible no? Very sorry, boss selective. Man. Yeah, listen. Uh, no, listen. Very I, selective. I saw the long blink yeah. back at me. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, no, because it's not gonna be apologize. Nice about this. Yeah. apologize. <laughs> There's a no bad ideas usually. There are bad ideas. That was the worst idea ever. <laughs> Liam. You don't like the entrees idea? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, he hated that. I know, man. Yeah, he almost made oh, him get That was almost we as bad as Boy Meets World. We could brainstorm some stuff later. Yeah, yeah. Right, uh, Take, give me so an example. Title? He's Well, he's senior draft analyst right. for our uh, scouting department, but he's also uh, social for like his actual job title here. What social accounts does he run? I'm on the main account. I'm helping out with Cherry's uh, After Dark for TikTok and Instagram. Gambling. They got me on the gambling account now because they figured out after like a month, oh, we should probably just have him tweet whatever he wants. Yeah, he, he's he, watching something. he sees everything. He misses nothing. Mm. What time did you go to sleep last night? Very responsibly. Um, I tried to go to sleep about midnight. I couldn't sleep. And then I woke up, checked some tennis scores, watched the end of a match, went to bed at like 1.30-ish, possibly. Okay. Okay. Po- I get, you don't know. Because I don't know how long it takes to like fully fall asleep. Yeah, yeah, Right. Yeah. That's fair. He's like the like, uh, three-eyed possibly raven. Possibly went to sleep at 1.30. No. no. Right. You, you're asleep when you fall asleep. You can't see the time. Right. Exactly. Thank no. you. People don't really understand that. Yeah. What a dumb reason. question. <laughs> so I track I it with the whoop. It's so easy. And I recommend it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look at you. It knows exactly when I fell asleep, when I woke up, for how long, and the quality of sleep. Hey, you got off the hook, by the way, earlier, Kyle. You're doing this lecture. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You have to. It's fun yeah, for the fun. Yeah, I, I get it, yeah. And it, you don't have to do anything. Like, when we've done it, we just go up and we just say, like, oh, yeah, we do this, and then people ask questions. Do a quick q and I'll make us a PowerPoint. Yeah. yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm not. We could plan. obviously going to do it. I could plan some questions for you, too. Uh oh. Just get a little. That was a frustrated oh, bottle no. toss. Hype. Because you could have. Oh, ca- you did that for us to one? notice because you could have carried that around. Yeah, that was. That that's, was an attention. That's homeowner Mark toss. Titus uh, on the show. Started. Oh, no. That was. Yeah, you really didn't have to throw the water, but you let us know. I tried to do it a little cooler. No, uh, what happened? It was. It was. It was. It. Excuse me, boys. I'm sorry. It was cunty. Yeah. <laughs> Coming off a little cunty. What was. What, what happened? I don't want to talk about it. Like <laughs> yes, you do. Pipe burst? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't. I really don't. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I, don't. It's a, it's I don't. But it was pipes. It's just a dumb little thing. Is like, your house still okay? It's still okay. We're good. Um, just a little thing that, yeah. We're good. Your hair looks great. Does it? Um, yeah. Yeah. Your boots look good. Thanks, guys. Just gas you up. What what jersey Thanks, is that? Scott Stapp. Oh uh, not hell my- yes. Nice. Oh nice. fuck yes. Your jersey looks great. Thanksgiving halftime show jersey. KB's got two jerseys on. You a Cowboys I, fan? That's why I was going to say like Bad. 10 minutes ago, you're wearing two jerseys. Yeah, it's just, not a Cowboys fan, system. but there's a hot chick that I'm into that uh, is. So uh, I'm wearing I'm, – <laughs> it's funny. I'm kind of making a fool of myself uh, just to appease her. I hope yeah, it works so out for you, kinda, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Ever will. It's not really working right now, but I'm going to keep <laughs> knocking on that door and we'll <laughs> Yeah, but your team, the Patriots, didn't make it to the playoffs. Yeah, so that's why. I, yeah, my my favorite team isn't very good, so I thought I'd cheer for hers, and then we got smoked. I say we now because 
<laughs> part of trying she to... doesn't even know you fucking exist. <laughs> You're not even real to her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, yeah, what's the jersey underneath, Kyle? There's just the Indians Ramirez. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, oh, that explains it. It actually works as a good undershirt. You have an Indians yeah. Bauer as well, don't you? I lost it, yeah. Whoa. Wait, so you're wearing an Indian shirt, but you don't want to show it? No, it honestly... I, It'll get him in trouble. Yeah, exactly. It's like a yeah. swastika on your chest. Or a thigh. Yeah, or a thigh. You're Edward Norton. It's Yeah, it's just the curse of text. Oh. Just the word. Oh, it, that's, not, yeah. that's not a problem. No Wahoo on it? This is no problem. Wahoo. May, uh, Thank you. I don't think. No. It's a great jersey. Thank you, thank you. Did uh, Frank ever sort out your Twitter handle? Uh, I don't think he knows my Twitter still, no. But he knows your name. He does. Yeah. He does. That's huge. He's tweeting at the wrong Liam. But, yeah, you and Frank. Frank, you were basically, it was like love at first sight because he saw you wearing just an obscure hockey jersey. Maybe not first sight because it, it, that was the third day. Oh, okay. Well, no, that's so first sight for Frank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Third day? That's early. Yeah. All right. That's very early. Hey, Liam, check this out. <laughs> Liam definitely saw that, too. Wait. Yeah, here you go, Liam. That's Bubba. <laughs> so you have Frank muted, TJ? Uh, yeah. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Frank and Mincy and Jeff D. Lowe, I think. Whoa. Oh. Why, is, why is that? When they, when they tweet mean things about me or Rutgers, I just mute them instantly. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fair. Jeff D? Yeah, Jeff D. Lee. <laughs> Sorry, Mincy, Jeff. Wake I up, like Jeff. But. Wake up, Mincy is back. <laughs> yeah. Nick and I were oh, on. Oh, yeah. Do you ever bring him back, TJ? Just like, yeah, I might put, take him off probation. But Frank incessantly tweets anti ruckers things for oh. no reason. So, sorry. And what about Mincy? Mincy did maybe once after the after the Nebraska loss after the college football show. He was like, "At least we covered, right, TJ?" And I was like, uh, "I'm gonna, uh, I might get violent." Yeah, <laughs> that's bad. Yeah, early morning for us. Yep. Nick and I went on. We went on with a plan. That Mincy, you know, you can't plan for Mincy because our plan was that every time Mincy asked me a question, Nick would take the question and vice versa. So, like, <laughs> Mincy asked me a question, Nick would be like, let me handle that big cat. Yeah. The issue with the plan was M Mincy only asked me questions. Didn't prep anything. And talked me. about himself. <laughs> Didn't talk to me at so all. So, after, like, ten minutes of me not talking, I ha we had to break it and be like, all right. <laughs> we had to stop. And it was just like, you tried everything to get him to talk to me. You were just housing a sandwich. <laughs> just you just, like, gave him the one Pointing to you. And then he just, he, I, no, he, I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were, yeah. He just I, only had questions. Wait, so me. how was the brainstorming session? Yesterday? Yeah, did you ideate? Yeah. Um, did, did any of that unfold? No. Okay. Hmm. No, I pitched some stuff, uh, some merch ideas, um, some segments. But no, it's more of a, it, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah. What was, it wouldn't have worked. Right. Right. But he's back. Uh, oh, is his dude for, here? No, week's over now. Oh, yeah. So he's gone. <laughs> yeah. Week one was a success, though. Week one was a success. I did tell him to put out a best of week one and just re-release the video set. I like that. <laughs> I like that. In full. And then I want his best of. You should actually just do a best of and just cut our parts. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just the first five minutes. I want his weekly best ofs to be every show combined into one five-hour video. Ooh. So, yeah, I like that. Back, yeah. Let people catch up with mm -hmm. Wake Up Mincy. Has Liam done the challenge yet? Yeah, that's what he's going to do. Oh, I couldn't do it Liam. yesterday. I was way too tired. Way too sleepy. How do you feel now? I went to bed at 7. I feel great. You went to bed at I'm last How do you today. know, dude? How do I know what? You went to bed at 7. You're right. All right. I have no idea. There we it go. could have been like 8. You came in here today and you said, I'm going to do the gauntlet my way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you did say that. <laughs> I'm not that saying what I'm doing. I'm doing this my it's way. Liam's I've got. <laughs> I, we're going to add more asterisks. I have. He did one. it his way. Yes. And, and I was prepared to say, no matter what, I'm first place. I'm the only one doing the slides. So I'm in first place in the slides division. Okay. I'm doing this my way. I've watched you guys all do it multiple times. Um, I've got stuff that I want to try out as shortcuts that could go very poorly, but I'll give it a go. Literal shortcuts? No. No, not literal. What, well, what is I think he's got to do it now, Big Cat. Yeah, I just, thought yeah. there's only he's one building up too much. Like, he's got too many ideas. I want to see him. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> That's, that's not the boss. It's gonna He's be the boss. It's gonna be bad. Don't fucking On try paper to tell him and what to do. Like socially. <laughs> that was incredible. Stay tuned. Yeah, it's gonna be very bad, Will. 
I, 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 Mook saw me after our company meeting on Tuesday. He saw me take three shots. Yeah. How'd those go? I think it was three air, just air the entire time. No rim, no net. I hit the backboard once, and I hit the far backboard. What's the far backboard? Like you're shooting like at this. I thought, right there was only, I thought there was only one. <laughs> like the far side. <laughs> the furthest like, like, point. There was another backboard. Like I was more so <laughs> angled on the left, and I, and I took like – just one of these threes like from half court and i hit the right side of the back okay so oh, far the back as possible oh, yes yeah. and then i think i took a deep hook shot airballed that <laughs> and then i did like a awkward looking garbage fade away that would really just hurt the eyes to anyone but that takes there. tremendous confidence to yep. do a three-point hook shot if you don't know how to make one regularly yeah there was no like thought of any confidence or anything it was just more so i like taking hook shots so yeah. you're going for style points is what we're we can expect i I, I will this not first... i will not disclose any of what you are about to witness. wow what a tease who's your uh cartoon comp like sam dollard and on the no. stimson j caxter from the Wait, who's laboratory that? Yep. and stimson no Dexter. who's stimson that's, Kyle? that's ren's partner stimpy yeah it's stimpy his real name's his stimson Stim? yeah stimson um, what Look it up, TJ. What? Stimson K is A cat or Stimson J, J. 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 I didn't know his name was actually Stimson. Stimson J cat. Yeah. We have What have you been doing, Kyle? Uh, Googling Stimpy full name. <laughs> I didn't know he did the camera cut cat? away from me. Sam Dullard. Stimpy <laughs> government name. <laughs> Stimpy <laughs> name is in my Google. Brennan Stimpy was not like appropriate for kids. Did they uh, live in a man's one. ass in one? Yeah, episode? I watched it. Really vulgar. Real vulgar. Yeah. Great show, though. And then what's your entree comp? I don't know. The cartoon ones were Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory and Chucky from Rugrats. Yep. Okay. I like tweeting out the Chucky pictures I, every once in a while. I think you have too much edge to be Dexter. You might be Mandark from Dexter's Lab. I, I don't recall. Mandark was his rival a bit taller. Oh, yeah, that dude. Yeah. I like the uh, Carl Weezer memes of him doing, like, bad shit. Oh, yeah. That's what Liam reminds me of. Carl, That's just a redhead thing, though. I don't want to be compared to Carl. Mm -mm. That's I, a I, tough I, life. That's I, like... I feel that, dude. <laughs> yeah. South Park episode. We are really up against it. Stinky Peterson. Oh, this really Who's bites. <laughs> Who's that? He want to glow in the dark tie on Carnival yeah. School Day? Me? When Hey Arnold and... Oh. The, when Arnold and you Gerald probably skip did too, school. Yeah. I like Hey Arnold. I just really have not watched much of the episodes in a long time. Where'd Stinky Peterson move from? Arkansas? Oh, that yeah, guy. I think it was yeah. Arkansas. Lost. Texas, Same. Oklahoma. So, or I think it was Arkansas. I might be Arkansas. I never watched Arkansas. Dexter. I didn't either. This is when I feel old. Why don't you guys take a back seat? Yeah. <laughs> Let the alphas talk. <laughs> just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying the conversation. I just don't. Liam runs this show now. Yeah. All right. We'll Give us an entree. Just any entree. Uh, hey, your uh, comp uh, is. Uh, yeah, like, let's say, what? what's your lobster tail of the NFL? I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. I don't know lobster tail of the NFL. I don't even know how to, like, my brain cannot compute this. All right, I wait, what about things. your entree, though? What you're about to show us on the court, what's your comp entree? I don't know. What's, like, a really gross food that is not appetizing to look at but could be funny? Poop? Poop? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Bagel, one smear of poop. Yeah. I don't like that. So, I don't know. Uh, your yak draft concoction. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. Your concoction. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, my brain cannot compute these these dinner Good on times. Calls. UCLA. That is a long time ago. Yeah. Damn. What jersey is that? That was Jonathan Franklin, the mayor. That was his nickname? Yeah. He, didn't, he was going to run for mayor one day. Maybe he did. I don't really remember. <laughs> he played for the Packers. Got yeah. hurt, though, when he got to the NFL. Didn't really get a pan out. Dude, you and Frank would combine to be the most powerful sports database of all time. Yeah. Who's like the who's your favorite number 71 wearer? William Carlson. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he play? Yeah. Well, he, he plays hockey. Oh, okay. For the Golden Knights. <clears throat> got a good it. player for us. Okay. Could you beat Frank in a... What about 56? 56? Hmm. This is a tougher number to throw out there. There's a lot of <laughs> yeah, offensive linemen. 71 line is a layup. Yes, there's a lot of offensive linemen numbers that I'm trying to think of. I'm not... See, now, 
Oh, no. Sometimes it gets tough with numbers. I'm not an idiot. Quentin Nelson's 56, right? I think so. Yeah, he or is. My, yeah. I, what I, was Lawrence correct. Taylor? He might have been 56. Lawrence Taylor yeah, was, was also 56. 56. Yeah, what about... Uh, yeah, like, that's what about, the answer. All right, let's give it an easier one. 24. Griffey. Jeff Gordon. I, well, I like... It's got to be Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon, the Rainbow Warrior. He wants to like wow thinking us. thinking obscure. Yeah. Great. Yes, Great. but I also don't like being thrown numbers. I'm was not 24 a numbers, uh, numbers uh, Kobe entrees. pre-Colorado or was Leave that at home? Uh, Griffey. That was eight. Yeah, eight was pre-Colorado? 24 was post, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. more of an eight guy. Yeah. <laughs> Although, Griffey. you could make the argument that eight was Colorado. Yeah, he, he did it in, as eight. Yeah. I actually don't know the time. He did. Yeah. He did it as So eight. we're 24 guys. He ate or it was just sex? <laughs> <laughs> that diamond ring he got his wife after was... That's a, big, that's a good apology. Was, yeah. Uh, all right, Liam, you ready? I guess. Oh, we were pumping you up. I no, well, yeah, but we fucked him up with entrees and numbers. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Really all right, you wanna, wait, do you have a Pokemon comp? Yeah, why don't we... Why don't we yeah, let's get the let's mind get, let's right. Get, yeah, let's, let's get, get the mind settled. back right. Maybe give him an initials... Do you have Pokemon comps for current NFL players or uh, quarterbacks? Like, what do we want to do here? Um, or do you want me to say a Pokemon and you say his comp? I messed this up. Oh, no. Don't, don't worry. Got it. Um, I came prepared with a few. Okay. Two of them are uh, upcoming NFL draft quarterbacks. One of them wasn't even a Pokemon one, but was a throwback to a draft comparison I did a few years ago. And then I thought of the Pikachu one immediately after we got off the yak yesterday. Mm. Okay. So it was very poor of me because I was sleepy not to recall the Lions Rams uh, NBC graphic package of Pokemon and Pikachu. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Like 20 seconds. Disagree with that. Think Jameer Gibbs is the Pikachu of the NFL. Oh, whoa. Yes, he's a young pup on the scene, rookie out there, and he's crushing it. Crushing it, Nick. Mm -hmm. When Pikachu uses double team, what stat rises? Evasiveness? Yes. Jameer Gibbs, super evasive, mm -hmm. tough to tackle, super slippery. He just goes out there and at any moment could hit a big play like a thunder shock. So Jameer Gibbs, easy play there. Wow. Oh, wow. I, I love it. Your redemption, yeah. Yes. We might have to do this for the draft. Oh, a hundred Pokemon. Yeah. So yeah. Caleb Williams. Can I be in the booth with him? He's going to do it either way. Yeah. 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 Caleb Williams is just going to be the evolutions. You never really know what you're going to expect from him. Mm -hmm. uh, Vaporeon's very sexualized, though. So let's. Oh, boy. Yeah. That, don't like that. No, very sexualized. Okay. Um, Almost more than Gardevoir. I, I, Low punny. The Caleb Williams. Oh. I love how uh, Cole Beasley had that tweet yesterday. Oh, what, yeah. Why are guys painting their fingernails? Yeah, yeah. yeah that felt directed. Yeah. Um, JJ McCarthy, we're going with Togepi. Okay, baby. Yeah, felt like, you know, he's younger. He's like 20. He, he got a lot of credit for what he did at Michigan. When he was asked to do things, he did do them. I don't think he was like a game changer or anything. He was just very standard. He got the job done. Mm -hmm. He got carried as well as, as Misty will carry Togepi. Oh, wow. Yeah, she and, always does. Never yeah, puts so, him down. So Misty will be, or Harbaugh will be Misty in this scenario. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Carrying Togepi. And the evolutions of Togepi are quite promising. Yes. So if J.J. McCarthy were, say, go down in the NFL as a pretty good quarterback, like top 10, top 15 guy that's reliable week to week, Turn out numbers. He could. He could evolve. Toga Tech. Toga you Kiss. Evolve. Oh, DVNR. You got a uh, Brock Bowers. Um. What about Graveler? Yeah, I was thinking. I was just. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah. Yeah. Why? What's up with Graveler? He's like a big. That's rock. Gollum. Oh, that's Gollum. Gollum. That's yeah. Gollum. That's Graveler. Right there. It's not Geo, dude. No, it evolves from Geo, dude. Mm. Oh. Bet you wish you didn't get that right. Who's Geo dude? <laughs> Geo dude's Geo just dude's the little the version guy. of that. He yeah. does this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay. Yeah, I like this. We'll do you're, this. Do, you're doing all the Pokemon or like the original? No, you can't. Uh, oh, you yeah, the all? original. I this falls okay. in. I don't remember them. So this, you're sticking original. Yeah. yeah OG. Okay, cool. And then Makai Beckton a few years ago, I just compared him to Soli from Monsters Inc. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is that? Big friendly giant with really good footwork, but when he gets on the field and he gets out there and he's right, uh, there, there's a mean streak. Yeah. Turn on, scare factor goes up. There he is. That's, that's <laughs> not the solution. <laughs> Who was uh, Quentin Nelson for you? 
I don't know. I like kind of comparing really good guards with a lot of really good run power. I just like saying they've got strength from Pokemon. Just moving a boulder out the way anyway with the ease is pretty simple. Yeah, it's a t yeah. it's a HM top yeah. move. Kind of a layup as well. Sure, for fine. Couple, can you do it in reverse? If you name a Pokemon, can you give a player comp backwards? Oh. Like, who's the Gengar of the NFL? Gengar's been a hot topic here. On yeah, the you're a big Gengar run. guy. Yeah, Big Cat, do the Gengar. Do the Gengar voice. I don't... I never watched Pokemon. I don't know anything that's really? going on. But this is falls into the category of, like, I'm enthralled. <laughs> yeah, I Liam, is, Liam is obsessed with Pokemon, obsessed with football. I, I could listen obsessed to... obsessed with Pokemon. I think Nick is. <laughs> okay, well, no, you I know could, your shit. It's a I compliment, Liam, though. I'm... I'm yes, yes. Anyone yes. who, like, talks about things they're passionate about, I could listen to forever. All right, uh, give him an FC, FCS school. Um, uh, UW Whitewater. Wait, well, that's not FCS. That's what it, Montana that's State three. Oh yeah, not Montana State. I don't know. Do your thing. He said. Uh, he said, what, give me in Bozeman. North he said, Dakota. He said, North give Dakota me a State. dude. A dude. Yeah. Villanova. A guy. Well, Isaiah Fonzi was on Montana State. Very good running back. One of the best See? ever. Do it at the FCS level, but he tears his ACL. That stunk for him. He entered the transfer portal. He went to Cal, I think. And then was there for like a few days, then went to San Jose State, or he went to San Jose State and then went to Cal. One of the two. Montana State also loves utilizing two different quarterbacks. So there will be a lot of times where, um, what was his name? What was his name? I think Sean Chambers was there, possibly. And then I forget the other quarterback's name, which is bad because he's the more important one, but they would rotate a decent. I'm bit. with you. Yeah. What about Villanova? What anyone, about anyone in Villanova? That's a Max question. It's Max question. University of Nebraska Omaha. Nebraska Omaha. There's a player in college basketball. I forget his name. I think it was like 2015, 2016. I really liked watching him. Uh, big guy, seven foot plus, easy. I think he had one of the like three letter last names. Maybe it was Doc D O K. Uh, maybe the first name started with the M. I liked watching him. I don't know what that guy is doing right now. Uh, it's not not in the NBA. We know this. Um, I'm not sure what that fellow's up to, but yeah, I remember yeah. watching him play. He used to score Summit so League. many points. I loved watching. Yeah, uh, it's impressive. Man. Are you getting recruited to be on dozen teams? I there's been I mean, there's been a lot of people saying you, you name know, your price and all that. Uh, don't don't sign it. Don't put pen to paper until you talk to me. You have Bency on your team. I know. I'm well aware. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to form a super team of uh, gingers. Our, me, him, and Kyle. Is ours out yet? Fleming. No. Oh, no that'd be a good team. Team. We can't steal him from you. That's no, not no. right. No. Thank That's you. That's unethical. Don't it is. walk. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah. All right. You ready? Get out there. Oh, I thought. <laughs> oh, I thought you were like, thinking like, another what, what FCS. Yes. Hey, yeah. Big Cat, is the college a uh, Chadron? That's D2 in Nebraska. Well, Danny. Uh, is, that, is that how you say it? Yeah, with Danny Woodhead. Danny Woodhead. Yeah. I'm trying to look for his right. seven footer. What a find! He's the best. I I'll tell you what, that is a that's a find right there. An incredible find for yeah. what we do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He's a weapon. Yeah. That's, he's an internet weapon. Weapon. It's like those. It's like those. You know those D one. It's like Bama finding like a two star. And they're like, uh, there's something there. Like we yeah. see something that everybody uh, else does. And now he's a first round pick. Easily. Yeah. I'm nervous for him. We need some better body language. I, yeah, I don't yeah. Think he, I think I don't that's think the he, best body yeah, language that's what that's that's produces. <laughs> better body language. Show us your best body language. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Just tell him when, when the cup. <laughs> it, was it was good. Okay. Oh, well, what I could do with you. <laughs> yeah, my precious. <laughs> it's a blank canvas. Yeah. <laughs> a perfect cube of marble. But I like it because I think also he... he He's got a boss attitude. Uh huh. Kind of does. He doesn't give a shit. He doesn't yeah. get flustered. Yeah. He doesn't. Well, let's see. No. All right. This is the ultimate fluster. Type. You ready, Liam? Yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's go, ready, Liam. TJ? I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Hey, oh, sorry. Hey. No. He's got flip flops on. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Oh, oh not a bad shot. shot. Uh oh. What's he doing? 
He's doing it his way. <laughs> it worked! Oh, his way worked! It worked! That was he incredible. Home run! Oh, yeah. Home run! That was incredible. His way worked. My way. Oh, take oh, good yeah, eye. Good eye, good eye, good eye. Good eye. Good <laughs> All right. Good cut. <laughs> one and one. He needs a better pitcher. Yeah, needs a better pitcher. <laughs> what is that football? I don't know. Ooh, Oppo. No. Shit. Still not flustered, though. Oh. Oh, the <laughs> flip. Like bad pitch. Oh, hot one. I'm surprised he didn't uh, throw it up in a ponytail. Nah. That's not how guys like He that knew operate. he was doing this today, and he still didn't wear sneakers. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. He doesn't have to swing at everyone. No. <laughs> He's proven that. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. That's wait, a good cut. That was a great wait, cut. Wait, wait, Stay in oh. the box. He lost Slides the are off. Lost the shoes. Oh. Oh, he tried okay. slowing the bat. Wait for your tired. pitch, Liam. Yeah. <laughs> Patience. Ooh. Oh. You're chasing. Okay, good eye. Good eye. Stop swinging at the junk. Oh, he's going. Yeah, hoodie. I'm smart. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Hit by pitch? These are the worst pitches. Yeah. <laughs> He's all over the place. Come on, Liam. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to strike out looking. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Yard! It. Yard! Football! He just needed his pitch. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Fumble. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> oh, what on the, the run. Oh. <laughs> He's the man. Oh, he's yeah. the best. Okay. That all right. Fun. Yep. Yeah, he's not, not flustered. Not at all. Not even close to flustered. Underhand. Oh. I haven't seen the underhand. <laughs> he does know this is timed. Right? Yeah, no, oh, yeah, he doesn't care. Oh. Yeah. He, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the most entertaining he's run we've ever he's had. He's trying everything. Uh, Why? Oh. oh. <laughs> Will, what's your player comp? For him? Yeah. Uh, oh, damn. Uh, who is that? Uh, who is that quarterback? Uh, that was built like Butterbean. Jared Lorenzen. Lorenzen. Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. All right. Oh, yay! Okay, here comes the real test. This is bad. He said. I mean, it has to be what? Uh, Ryan Jensen. Oh? Yeah. Oh. Has to. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Oh! oh. We went down. Wet. What He's missing doing? the meat. Oh! oh. <laughs> that would have been oh. legendary. Oh. That would have been legendary. Oh, he stinks. He wants half court? court? You don't have to. Mook, he's just missing the mean streak of Ryan Jensen. Yes. I don't know if he can get angry. I don't know if he can either. Yeah. He's close. Oh. Kyle, you know he's still going to beat you, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guessing Sparkle will be a breeze. <laughs> ah! Oh. Hook shot. I feel like at any moment he's just going to walk away. He's like, fuck, fuck this thing. Oh. Short. Oh. Put on the line. Yup. Oh. Mm. There, wet. Come here, trivia. Take trivia. <laughs> His way. Twelve NFL teams who have never won a Super Bowl. That's that's uh, yeah. yeah that's Twelve NFL 10. teams that have never won a Super Bowl. Oh. <laughs> Pendas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Tony the Tiger, Toucan Sam. T O U C A N. You see the 12 NFL teams never won a Super Bowl? Wow, Nick, that was a good pull. Uh, Szechuan sauce. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, good luck. <laughs> oh, boy. Honey barbecue, tangy barbecue, whatever they call it. No Szechuan? Gotta assume, what, Russell Westbrook, Nicola. Jokic. Are you doing this on purpose? Just I think ignoring? he is. 
12 NFL teams never yeah, won a Super Bowl. That's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's a real one. So one two, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. One, two, so three, three, oh. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm-mm. 11, 12. Prime numbers are not boring. 13, 14, 15, yeah. 16, 17, 18. Yeah, this is where 19? 11, See? 13. So we'll just let this sit for a little. <laughs> 20, 21. No, 22, 23, 24. One, two, one more. Three, four. He needs one more. 93. What? Okay. It would have been six. <laughs> 77. <laughs> no, it's, it can't be no, divisible by themselves. I don't know what a prime number it is. It can't be divided, divided by anything. anything. You can't divide it by anything. Oh. It can only be divisible by itself. You were right when you said. You were very close when you were. 79. Well, it's not close well, at all. It's the first. It's nine. It's first. the first nine. So you're going to be something in the 30s, oh. something in the 40s. 30. It has to be odd. Look at the numbers you've already done. Like, put it different. Not a numbers guy. I'm not sure why I chose this one. One three. Seven, Ranch eight. dressing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, time. There we go. Hey. <laughs> His way. <laughs> this is the yeah. first run where I think we just throw out the time and we yeah. do judge the scores. Yep. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> ten out of ten. We're we're measuring this all wrong. First place. This first, is not yeah. a timed event. This is a. You, you flipped them all. Incredible. First place the, in you the flipped them off division. mid. Gone. I couldn't. Could, so you thought it would be too you easy and boring to time. rattle off non Super Bowl winners. So you yeah, just, just start saying why, why, numbers. Why oh, oh, not oh, last, not last, Stu. not last. It's too by half a second. Uh, holy shit! Oh my God. And Thank that's God. that's the show we were going for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not last place. Did it my way. First place in slides. The baseball one was bad. Well, your pitcher yeah. sucked. Pitcher was awful. <laughs> I I was here what like two weeks ago. And I just the only one I tried out was the baseball one. I got immediately. So okay, we're good there. Don't yeah. know what happened. The basketball <laughs> one, the half court shot. You don't have court to do cut. It. Oh yeah, it was genius. I yeah, hit the rim. That would have yeah. been sick if you made that. Yeah, I slipped on a I slipped on a bean bean bag, but <laughs> that was a genius play. Right, it could have worked. Yeah, it didn't. And it didn't waste any time. No. The plan was I would take the half court shot and I'd already I was gonna push the cart and then take the shot. Yeah. So it was like an on the way type yeah, of shot. Yeah, that was too yeah. much work. Not bad. Thank you. At all. <laughs> uh yeah, hang your head high. Yeah, it is. Incredible. I'm very, very content with my performance. I don't know if it could be better. Yes. No, I don't yeah. How? Baseball. 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 The one sport of those I've played. And if we're long. talking time could get better, even the trivia. I mean, you could have just rattled off. The I, I I hated that board. I know you did. Yeah. I wanted a cool board. That was not cool. That's on TJ. Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> I loved every you. second of it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Did it your way. You can hang out if you want to hang out for the rest of the show, or you can leave if you want to leave. Or I, I can stay. All right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Just got to check in on the golfers. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> check in on the golfers. You want to do the high noon ad, Nick? Yeah. Sure do. Hell <clears> yeah. <throat> fuck yeah. Frick yeah. Boys. Yeah. High noon. Talk to us. Sip on summer flavors in the middle of winter. Introducing the all new high noon snowbird pack featuring the perfect mix of winter and summer flavors. The eight pack includes two new flavors, raspberry and plum, alongside high noon classic peach and lemon. All made with real vodka and real juice. The Snowbird Pack is a winter exclusive, so get it before the ice melts. Track down the pack nearest you at highnoonspirits.com. Ah, that's me. Full that's me. Uh, TJ, do you have the picture of Dave yesterday on the show? Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Stand by. Thank Stand you. Stand by. Stand by. Hey, Will. How was uh how was the snowstorm? I saw your leaf blowing. <laughs> your snow blowing. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. It was good. Highlight tape. The it was a honestly it was a perfect little snow. How much was it? We probably got like six inches. Oh. Yeah. Wow. It's perfect size. Powdery. Not the best for like building snowmen. But, but good for shoveling. Yeah. And it's gone already? 
No, no, it's still there. Oh, okay. Because after the snow came, it, it was like zero degrees. That cold like snap, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, we had zero degrees for three days straight. How was that? Sucked. But Better. next week I saw it's going to be like in the high 30s. I, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll be in my glory. I mean, even when you when you do three days in zero, like today, I felt it was like tropical. And right, right, right. 17 yeah. degrees, but it's still... Once you go to zero, everything above yep. like fifteen is like, oh, this isn't bad. Yeah, I might go to the lake next week. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon's. It's crazy yeah, yeah. how where quick that can change your. Perspective. I have no idea where Brandon is. Yeah, I know the yeah. draft topic, and Brandon's probably just arguing. Oh yeah. Oh, what was the topic? Oh, he can't say. say. Yeah. Can't say. What, what are you looking at us for, Che? Something to say. So, did you guys get a lot of snow this past week? Some football news. What football news? No, not really. Is it breaking? You could say that. Former Cardinals uh, senior offensive end. Whoa. Expected uh-huh. to be for the sh- Oh, wow. There you go, BC. That's going to make you feel good. Let me yeah. process. Let me process. Give me a second. This is awesome, right? Let me process. Let me clip. process. Get him back in the OC chair. Let me process. Okay, I processed. So how do you feel? I think good if it's Caleb Williams. Yeah. Really bad if they keep Justin Fields. Now I don't know what the Bears are doing because they brought in Greg Roman too, which would made me think they were keeping Justin Fields because he was the guy who got right. Lamar great. And then they're going to bring in Cliff Kingsbury. That's a Caleb Williams move. They're really doing you a lot so. of smoke screens. Yeah. I you think Cliff also, Kingsbury's not a good head coach. Is he a good offensive coordinator? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm processed. I'll, yeah, I'll, he'd be yeah. great. I mean, Caleb Williams won Cliff, the Heisman under Cliff Kingsbury. Okay, okay, um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, right? Cliff had Mahomes too, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. was. Because no, Caleb didn't win the Heisman under Cliff. Cliff went. Oh, he won it before, and then yeah. Cliff came, and then they had, and then they bottomed out. They didn't have a good year. Terrible year. Cliff yeah, went to that's right. And then took the SC offensive. So Cliff, Cliff. Took over, hire. He was coaching the guy who had just won the Heisman and was a generational prospect. Yes. And then we just all forgot that Caleb After Williams his trip existed. From Island, which we cannot forget. In college football. Yeah. How long was he in Thailand for? Was, dude, unknown. That? That was he, unknown. After he got canned from his last job, he just went to Thailand. Oh, it's, and Cliff was with uh, Johnny. Yeah, like yeah. Not green, a place you know? to let off steam. Or was Cliff place. with Johnny? I think he was. You're <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Kyler Baker. No, not Baker. I think Baker. Wasn't it? Who else was Cliff? I mean, we got yeah, yeah look out, yeah. Who was Cliff I with? I wish you guys didn't do this. All right, okay, I'll look it Sorry. up. Sorry. It's not how the brain operates. All right, I'll look it I, up. I, more obscure. If you ask, like, Kalen DeBoer coaching spots or stops or, I don't know, William and Mary's OC, that'd be easier. All right, so he's with Johnny. He's at Texas Tech with Mahomes. Oh, Keenan was a world beater. Yeah. Yeah, who else did he get? Johnny te- uh, Mahomes, Baker. Baker, Baker, but then Baker obviously went to Oklahoma. Dave Can't Davis forget Webb, Davis. Mahomes. I mean, the Mahomes thing is the like because that's the comp people have used. Obviously, Mahomes is way better than Caleb Williams, but the comp of like can make right. all the throws right. from all the positions, kind of thing. All right, I, I think I'm in. I think I'm in. Yeah, there you go. I think I'm in. E- even if it's if he's stuck with uh, Justin Fields, it's like that's kind of a, a that makeup. feels weird though. Do you like Justin yeah, Fields but... more than Kyler? Because he did well with Kyler. Ooh. Didn't he get like 12 wins with Kyler? Really tough question. And think about uh, the Johnny Manziel doc. He never studied, so if Justin was like a non, oh guy, yeah, he knows how to work with all these different types of quarterbacks, <sighs> and they can all move around. Justin Fields. Okay, I think I'm in. Official statement, I'm in. Oh, look who's here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, someone replied, my friend John Greenberg said, knowing the Bears, they'll hire him to coach Drake May. (laughs) That's probably what will happen. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. I, I think you should be excited. I am. I am. Although we haven't hired him. It's just an interview. Right. Oh, it, that's just an interview. Yeah, it's yeah. just an interview. Yeah. I thought it was fucking yeah. breaking news. No, it's processing the interview. Because uh, that's what everybody's doing now. They're like breaking news. So and so's interviewing. Mm-hmm. That's not news at all. Yeah. No. Yeah. Hey, Brandon. What's so up? Hey, Dan, are how are you? I'm Dan great. Cliff Kingsbury might be the OC for the Chicago Bears. Oh. 
Yeah. Oof. That's not great. You don't well, it so? is if we draft Caleb Williams. All right. Because Caleb Williams was won the Heisman of the Cliff Kings. Right he's now. a good quarterbacks coach. He's a good offensive coordinator. He's, he's a good, good head coach. Good hang. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. Okay, cool. Good. Sounds like a good plan. Uh, you missed the processing phase, but I'm all the way in, so don't come out. Oh, you're in. Yeah. yeah. You're in. If they draft Caleb Williams. Well, when did that become – when did that acceptance become official? Me? Yeah. With Cliff? Yeah. About 35 seconds ago. Okay. All right. You're due to flip. 100%. Yeah, if you really think about it. <laughs> Stop. So. God damn it. Why uh, don't you think so? I don't know. I mean, he doesn't have a – He's a very good – quarterbacks coach yeah we say that davis we, webb yeah he was Patrick uh, home that's 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 fine yeah, it's luck no johnny uh, manzel ever heard of him i have with caleb williams though i mean it's caleb williams and it's lincoln riley correct yeah i mean they were going to succeed regardless of who the quarterback who was the was. offensive analyst last year for the usc fighting trojan i'm guessing it was cliff kingsbury i believe it was was it yeah there? who has offensive failed in his last two stops correct coach he was quarterbacks coach as last a head year? coach and and yeah offensive and offensive. but he's still i mean he still has success with like kyler murray and yeah johnny manzel davis webb nick shimanak baker nick mayfield shimanak alan Shimanac, bowman it, that's what alan that's bowman what. hey hey man how are you and even when kyler was down like you do this? stepped in yeah uh, no, went, i have a couple games with Cliff. you didn't do the gauntlet likes him give him a noun and he'll tell you something about it. A noun. Any noun. <laughs> Any noun, Brandon. Any noun. Um, tie it, not that noun. Tie it to an athlete. Not oh, the noun yeah, you're you thinking got, of. Oh, okay. One. Cody Wyoming. Proper noun and two? proper noun, dude. Okay, sorry. Um, Just um, a noun. Name a noun. Name a noun. Um, there are a lot of nouns You don't know what there. a noun is. See, um, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Island. What? Uh, Island? Yeah. yeah. All right. You want me to do it? Yeah, like you a player comp with nouns. I think nouns yeah. are pretty good for player comp. Um, two Arizona football players, Noah Fafita and Tatoria McMillan, have a podcast named Island Time in which they let everyone exactly. know, hey, we don't care that Jed Fish went to Washington. We're here to do our thing. Exactly. Yeah, but I'm saying. did you notice that Arizona players started entering the portal oh, yeah. this morning? Including Joan Coleman, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they acted like they were a holding firm, but they're they're starting to go get their money now. Yeah, if I was those two, this is I'm not this, I'm just giving advice, but they could do what they want. I would be trying to get the Alabama to go with Kalen DeBoer because I don't think DeBoer would really want Milrow as, as his quarterback. Ooh. You got Fafita there with Tatoria McMillan. It's pretty nice for Alabama, especially with the talent they're losing. Just saying. Ooh. Just saying. Not, ad not advice. Not advice. Not advice. Not, advice. not official advice. Seemed awfully close to advice. It was advice adjacent. Players is it what, what, is it what you would do? It's what I would do if I was in their shoes. Yeah. And I'd be asking for some NIL money. Yeah. So you would advise them to do that? No. Oh, no, no. They could do what they want. <laughs> <laughs> but if they called you and asked you? I would just say, do what you guys want. You guys are doing great. You'll be, yeah. Fafita, I think that you would, could have been a Heisman finalist yeah. if your head coach, Mr. Fish, stayed. Uh, McMillan's going to be a first-round picket receiver. You guys do what you want. I'm not going to say anything else. Now, to other people, I would say exactly what I'm saying. I would be trying to get to Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I'm Fafita... So, they're the only two people in the world you would tell them not to go to Alabama. Right. Yeah, and then, like... Every other person in the world, you'd be like, those guys should go to Alabama. Yeah, they need to make their own decisions. I can't plant the seed. Right. Right. You've done a good job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How's the draft, Brandon? Heated. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. It, it, it dragged on a little bit. Yeah. Contentious. Contentious? Yeah. Who did you get into it with? Who do you think? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, do we have a picture of him? What was the draft over yesterday? Oh, um, I don't think they've announced the draft yet. So, I, I don't know. I don't want to step on Chicago's oh. toes. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, this uh, you exactly. can't with him because <laughs> <laughs> they're way... <laughs> hmm. He buys shoes so much <laughs> bigger than he needs to be. And we called him out on it. We just felt the toe box, and they were in the end of it. <laughs> we didn't check the heel. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's well, look at that size gap. is too big. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a huge, huge oh, heel. My God. <laughs> Why does he wear those? He said because he wants people to think he has a bigger dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that makes sense. He oh, must oh, think man. clowns are packing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> White Sox Dave thinks every yeah. clown has a 13-inch cock. Monster. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh fuck! Look at this clown coming here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why he doesn't like clowns. He's going to fuck his chick. <laughs> She's already fucking a clown, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> White Sox team. Oh. Ninth uh, season. That's awesome. Hey, what? That rules. Why not? How, is How can you pull that off? COVID. He had two injuries, I think, season nine. Yeah, but even know. COVID, like that. I don't, I don't get that. I don't get what the, what is the red seasons. shirt rules. There's red shirt. There's gray shirt. There's medical red shirt. Medical there's, red shirt. There's, there's a, what he COVID. had. Two, he had two medicals. I believe he had two medicals plus COVID. Yeah. That still doesn't add up to medicals. nine. I don't know. I'm just uh, Olympic maybe he red had shirt. Three. I don't remember. If gray shirt. If he gray shirt. Yeah. Then that would. Did he go to the war? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> yeah. Playing I college just, football was, for a decade. He was fighting the culture war for a couple years. <laughs> he had to go. Why wouldn't? Now he's back. Why wouldn't you stay did. though? If you're not gonna be a pro. Yeah, I would stay. Yeah. Yeah. Look that yeah. shit. It's kind of sad. Yeah, but Wuffy. No, I don't think no, so. Why? Better than selling insurance. Yeah. Also, think about it. Like all these guys. What? What? How many teams has he played on? Oh, I don't. I don't remember. The connections you make though in football. Like he's got connections yeah. now everywhere. Yeah, I should probably start digging. I really don't know. Oh, you, need okay. to, you need to dig I, into that. Yeah, this yeah. is a, this is a problem for you. This right is now. a hole in the resume right here. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, mm. no. We're asking you questions about a guy who's who's national news right now. Oregon, oh. that's what it was. Well, yeah, you yeah. saw it. Uh, <laughs> no, well, I know. Yeah. That's no what stats it was. in 19 or 20, so something. It clicked. With 20 was COVID. <laughs> or yeah, 19. Mark, yeah. <laughs> 19 <laughs> was, yeah, where was he? I like that though. Apologies for not remembering. You 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 think it's sad? It's okay. Hey man, we all we all make mistakes. Nick, you think it's sad? Um yeah. Why? Here's the old guy in college. Nah. One of my one of my maybe one of my only nah, good he, ideas that I've ever had was that if college football should allow one alumni on every team, yeah, to come back and play as unlimited eligibility. Well, would you go play for so the like Husker? Tim Tebow could have played yeah. for. You'd go play next year yeah. if you could. Yes. Like yes. you think, like <laughs> Tom thousand percent. Tom Brady could have played on Michigan this year. How sick would that be? I don't know if Tom would have though. Just imagine. Probably not, out. but it would have been sick. Oh yeah, yeah. That'd be Tim sick. Tebow would have stayed there forever. Imagine Tim coming Tebow out that tunnel. Really would be incredible. That yeah, Nebraska Cam Newton one more time. Yeah. Yeah. But what if Tom Brady lost to Alabama in the summer? Cam Newton goes to. I would suck. It would tarnish legacy. I can play for the Temple Owls right now. Yeah. You have eligibility left? Yeah. You get one of those Martinez's back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either one. Yeah. I think there's three. Either of the three. Yeah. After redshirting as a true freshman in 2016, while also covering from 20 CL. Well, three UO. Oh. 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 2016. Oh, that's that uh, CrossFit thing, right? Yeah. It's like when you start pissing out your muscles. Whoa. What the fuck? Yeah. You never heard of Rabdo? Yeah, that would have been in Maryland. Yeah, right? You like yeah. Overtrain, basically. Yeah, you piss. Yeah. You literally piss your like muscle cells. When your piss out. goes yeah. brown. Yeah. Oh. He was the only one to not file a lawsuit against the university. No, he ain't no rat. Wow. You want to stay? Like that. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, he's yeah. He's committed. Two years additional eligibility by NCAA prior to the 2020 season, which also he also missed while eligibility clocks were paused. And, he, and he's probably getting paid. You know what I mean? Like all these kids are making like six figures. I, that is a yeah, good point. Yeah. He's getting like even if it's kind of like oh you're the old guy but dude you get he gets to live in Miami money that you might not be yeah that feels right like out a of bad college. return on investment for being honest to pay him to pay the guy that gets hurt it pisses out constantly his, his pisses muscles. out his muscles his college <laughs> career is going to span four presidencies whoa <laughs> he was a freshman when Obama was in office holy shit what <laughs> he's seen a lot of shit <laughs> oh happy birthday Big Mike saw that oh yeah oh it's also National Poo Day. Winnie yeah. the Pooh? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. How did we not 18th. get prepared for that? We should have pooed. Someone DM me. Thank you for that lead. Shirt, no pants. I remembered the other Those quarterback's name on Montana State. Touchdown, Tommy Malott. Ah. Uh, yes. It just it came is. to me when we were looking at the McCormick. Love thing. that. Uh, Alcorn State. That McNair. Mm -hmm. uh, of course. Do you feel like you're behind? <laughs> yeah. Liam, do you feel like you're behind the eight ball now with that Oregon? No, stuff, stuff slips through. It happens. I'm too busy scouring what's going on at Boise State and App State, et cetera. So mm -hmm. stuff happens. What is going on at Boise State and App State? Oh, nothing. Just players. <laughs> <laughs> just players I like. Uh, you know, 
I, I good at predicting <laughs> college football things. Yeah. Ashton Gentry, some would say, was the best running back in college football this year. If not, he was a lock for top. Who three. would say that? You? Brandon, do you agree? <laughs> college football Ashton guy? Like was a, yeah. undoubtedly one of the top three running backs in the country this season. Brandon? Just sure. Say yes. See? Uh, there were, you know more college ball than Brandon? Uh, no, Absolutely. Let me stop you there. Absolutely. I think yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's had good takes. I've had good takes. It happens. He had the Missouri take. There's only one person in the world, as far as I know, who predicted a Boise State UNLV Mountain West championship game before the season started. And that was, was you. Yeah, proof? You had twit? Oh, Brandon? Got twit? Proof. Oh, oh, we've got proof. <laughs> Who else was on the running Rebels going into this season? No one. They've been historically no. bad, correct? Yeah, then Brennan Marion gets hired as OC, and the go-go offense is on full display. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you in talks with any of these coaches? Yeah, Brennan's DM me his stats a few times, just like stats of how UNLV's offense is doing, which is kind of funny because I am aware of it already, but. Yeah, just let you know, nudge you. Yeah. He he deserves a, a power five or a group of five head coaching jobs, and I think he'll get it next cycle. They should schools should hire you as like their advisor for yeah. coaching. Yeah, yeah, so yeah they he doesn't give should. advice. No, That's no true. advice. If he were, to but if it was your job, what Liam would do? Yeah. I don't have words to say right now, and everyone's looking at me. Yeah, mm-hmm. sorry. It I'm happens. Sorry. Yeah. What is like a middle of the road football player? Making at the NIL, the NIL, yeah, depends on the school, I, th- I believe. Like yeah. teacher salary, yes, <laughs> wow. that's insane to me. It depends on the school, though. Like a power five, like Mac, yeah. probably. I would know, I would imagine Mac players, there's a lot that aren't making anything. Like some are some like starters and maybe stars are just making nothing. In the there, are, you think there are power five guys what? that start that don't make anything, <clears throat> yes, like at bad oh, schools. Oh, really? If they're recruit, if they're Decent Probably, size yeah. recruits, yeah. Well, like a, there, are, there are backups at uh, when I was at Nebraska that are making like one fifty. No Woo! backups, and I'm talking semi position, so tight end, linebacker. There's also That's guys out there that have like these NIL deals, and some of us like you know we see the numbers that they're getting through Twitter or whatever. Some of them aren't even getting near that much money because they're not completing the. Uh, the necessary steps to get that money like you have appearance fees and you have all this other stuff and some guys don't do it yeah so the number could be a little misleading hmm. gotcha it's probably a lot of bag tension in the the locker room yeah yeah you know? i bet there is a lot of pocket watching yeah yeah mm-hmm. who's got the biggest bag yeah i figured we'd be seeing more commercials from right players yeah. i guess local, local the, yeah, yeah local but I, the commercials why aren't those finding their way to some Social yeah, media. funny yeah. local. The funny yeah. Yeah. offensive yeah. lineman that's horrible doing like there was a <laughs> coldest Crawford had one right. Yeah, the yeah. coldest. Yeah, yeah. Air with the AC. Right. The air we should get an NIL. There was, there was one. On the yeah, I think one of them did a yeah. pizza one. I mm-hmm. forget what college. You should sponsor one. Oh, um, those Iowa State players. They just kept adding and adding another person each time because their jerseys would say like uh, Taylor Ham, etc. Whatever. I forget the names. I've tweeted it a few times. I could go look. What if we got a player? But we had him do a. Co- we paid right for now. a commercial, and it's like them pissing their pants, putting their hands in mouse traps, and mm-hmm. like tune into the yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I would like that a lot. I feel like the mouse traps would be a yeah. problem for a player. Why? Uh, it hurts your finger. Be tough. You hurt yeah, you got to be football tough. You got to make money. You got to be tough. All right. You don't want to watch your fingers. Don't be a pussy, play? Brandon. Okay. Let's get a kicker. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. great. No, but good then, then they miss the kick and yeah, everyone blames awesome. us. I'm fine that's with that. True. Sure. Probably would be our fault. What's our best position that we need to uh, – how about a center? Ooh, that would be a good one. What do you yeah. guys need a center for? <laughs> for our, our yak and <laughs> I. What we just said, yeah. yeah. Well, hockey, basketball, uh, oh, football. Oh, sorry, football, yeah. football, football. Please be more specific. Football. Brandon. Football. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Although a hockey center would be – a really good yeah. addition to the team. Yeah. Yeah. I'll keep my eyes. Let's get an NIL center. hockey player for the yak. Yeah, male right. gymnast. Oh, I'd like a male gymnast. Yes. What? Those guys what? They're you ever see them? Oh uh, yeah. <coughs> They're built solidly. Oh my god. Yeah. We could find the next like male Livy Dunn. And we can get rid male of gymnasts yeah, are kind of I think adjacent. they're like little sassy content creators now. Yeah, yeah. male gym- <laughs> gymnasts are kind of adjacent to wrestlers. It's like instead of wrestling dudes, you want to. Look I don't think personality-wise, but maybe. Yeah. Oh no, personality-wise, the same. Uh, could you stay? Could you stay up on the rings like that? 
with your arms out? Probably none of the things they can do. Yeah. Steven, the yak turned six yesterday? Wow. Yes, I missed that. Apologies. That's crazy. Six years old. Wow. That's awesome. Six. Look at that. Wild times. I've known you for way too long, Steven. Yeah. The origin story. Steven looks you had good hair there, but yeah. yeah, it did. Nice. Evening yak. There it is. You knew Are we it. looking at porn in the background? You knew it, too. There, that flow going on. Yeah, this, there was a thing in one of our first episodes where he did a porn. I think it was when Jimmy G took out a model or something like that. Oh. Wow. I don't think that was the first show, though. Steven, how are you feeling about Sunday? I always feel good, brother. Oh. <laughs> Shit. What's wrong, Brandon? Oh, those don't work. So that's why I'm, I can't hear Steven. Got it. Would it ruin your day if they lose, Steve? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Would you go out and drink after they lost? Absolutely not. Can you, you have sex after, after a loss? Games, would you not? No. Can you have sex after a loss, Trey? No. Can I mean, you eat cooch after a loss? But not like go no. out and drink. Wow. <laughs> maybe on like the God. plane ride home. Huh? Yes, oh, look, here's no. Max. Can you get head after a loss, Steve? No. What? <laughs> get the I'm fuck out of here, I'm not getting boned up after Jay. a loss, dude. Imagine getting like Yeah, you would, Jay. Jay, okay, that's ridiculous. Jay, you would get head. Absolutely not. Yeah, you would. All right, we're going to try to yeah, give you head. Yeah, we're going to try to suck your dick when they lose, buddy. Get ready. Oh, Thank you, Zah. Yeah. Yeah, that <laughs> there you go. That was a little, that yeah. was a little suspect there, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't realize what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that, but... <laughs> Woo. Double entendre. You're going to be going up against actual Lions fans, too. Corey and Matt are going to Yeah, I know. I was just talking with Matt upstairs about it. Oh, uh, were you studying him? No, I mean, we're going over strengths and weaknesses. What to expect. <laughs> What are you looking at, Brandon? The Max ball. is squatting. Oh, yeah. We were, I was supposed to work out with him right now. The ball might get ran down your throat, Jay. Uh-oh. Then the first time we met. Oh, you guys didn't do shit in the red. You lost 20 to 6. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm happy about that. We got shit pumped. Nowhere to go but up. <laughs> this is a problem with him. God. Yeah. It's brutal. If the Bucks win the Super Bowl this year, I'll kill myself. <laughs> There's no too. chance. Straight There's up. no chance. Cyanide. Absolutely we'll chance. do cyanide kiss. Yeah. <laughs> What's that mean? We're gonna put cyanide. I'm gonna <laughs> get two cyanide <laughs> tablets. I'm gonna kiss Nick, slip one into his mouth, and we're gonna. We're gonna go. We're gonna <laughs> go out. Same time and kill ourselves. Che, I'm I'm still on the no blowjob after loss. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's an emphatic no. But dip, reach back in your mind through the repertoire. You've never done it. You've never gotten hard. Can you get hard after a loss? It's or you just don't want to? You feel like it's disrespectful to the box. <laughs> His dick is too attached to men. The to boys get put their, their lives funny on the en line. Funny enough, I was talking with Jerry about this on Sunday, and he said, absolutely not. Like, I wouldn't even get head after a loss. And then you hours know, later. sucks, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, absolutely not. My, my mind's not in the right place. But it could get put in the right place. Yeah, what if it's like, I'm going to suck your dick? Well, it just means more to me. Oh. So how long does this last? Uh, next day, you know, sleep it off, 24-hour rule. Okay. Would you get morning head the next day? <laughs> yeah, I guess so, not 24-hour rule, but that doesn't really happen. Yeah. On a Monday? Come on. <laughs> head on a Monday? On a Monday. <laughs> Again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with me? I'm gonna go see oh. the doctor. <laughs> it's like when you get the same lunch packed two days in a row. Yeah. Uh, head? Yeah. <laughs> As if today couldn't get any worse. Huh. <laughs> Max just over there squatting. Yeah. yeah. I'm supposed to be working out with him. We're, we're getting back in shape. Yeah? I have to do my workout at home tonight. How's the, how's the uh, journey been? Good. Yeah? I'm going slow. Good. I'm trying to get back. It's, you know, 2024, get some power back. Look at that. Oof. There you go, Max. Ass to grass. Yeah. There you go, Max. In the Concords. Mm. Juicy. It sets a five. I'll defer to the weightlifters. Are those full reps? Way to go, Max. Yeah, those are full. Yeah, I got to count it. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, That's a great rep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. You, you ain't doing that. I mean, nah. <laughs> you ain't nah, doing yeah, I, I was taught. I was taught to get your ass 
lower, but that's all right. I'm, I'm just saying you're I, not. But I, that's why I deferred I'm to you saying guys. That's why I deferred that. you guys. I felt like that was a fair question. <laughs> that was the yeah. first sentence he said. He deferred to the. I deferred weight. to the weightlifters. You said it was a full rep. It's a full rep. It wasn't 90 degrees to me, but that's why I was. I was asking. <laughs> you guys know more than me. So. <laughs> <laughs> I had a moment. I saw you trying to count the weight too. Like. Oh, well, I know. I was yeah, like, could I go walk over there and rip this? About out? to walk over there. Yeah. And, Pumps him out, and I was like, I don't know what he's got on that bar. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not get too confident here. I had a, uh, I had a like, parent, like, school thing last night. Um, parent-teacher conference? Not parent-teacher conference. It was like, all the parents went out, like, whatever. I just like, fuck, I'll go. And uh, so I'm standing there with, like, all the dads, and they're all asking, like, what do you do, what do you do? Like, all these guys are, like, structural engineer, all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'm a podcaster. You know, barstool sports, and the guy goes, "Oh, Dana Beers." Oh <laughs> no! I was like, "Yep, <laughs> Dana Beers." I found out that he went to Cincinnati, so that's why he knew Dana Beers. But yeah. that was didn't Duh. know anything about barstool. Yeah. Dana Beers. I, I texted should've... Dana to gas him up, but it hurt me a little. Yeah. Oh, Dana Beers. Yeah. Oh, Dana Beers. Yep. That's yep. Bar- yeah. That. <laughs> that that barstool. I can't lie. I've gotten that plenty of times. What? Yeah. With Dana. Dana. Yeah. He's yeah. Like he's a man of the moments. People. I know. Doing a video with him, he gets swarmed. Yeah. I had to take so many pictures of just people with Dana. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think Imagine. everybody here has certain audience members that only know them? No. Not. not yeah. No. No. Yeah. no like everybody. Yeah. Like like. Yeah. Of course. Right, isn't that how it should yeah, be? Yeah. Well, yeah. What do you mean? Like the anus boys, like have people that just know anus? No, no like just is one anybody that just knows Kyle. Oh, yes. I've got some Iowa. Oh, Barstool. People that's from Kyle Bauer. 2015. Yes. Okay. Yes. Like there's probably wrestlers who are like, yeah. oh yeah, I know Barstool. Yeah. You got that guy wrestler Kyle. Oh, Barstool. Oh. You talking about Mook's place, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's oh, probably that. I forgot Mook was here. Um, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> the uh, no, I mean like there's a lot of Frank the Tanks. Oh yeah. yeah. There's a lot of Jersey Jerry's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot. Yeah, I had a Jersey Jerry yeah. the other day. Yeah. I was getting a coffee, and the guy taking my order, just uh, I, I just stood there. I'm waiting for him to make the coffee, and he just goes, so how's Jerry? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Garcia? He died. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? And it took me a second to register. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I, there's a I lot love, of Jerry, I love Jerry's Jersey Army. Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, who do you da- Dana did have a run. He's oh, on his run. Yeah. I, was, I don't think it's hey, he got a, he he was not a physical run. <laughs> yeah. He was on busting with the boys. Yeah, but he's been on a run. Is that a run? <laughs> no. So <laughs> I, I, I say that like <laughs> we were newer, and I thought Dana was much bigger than I had understood. And I was like, hey, will you come on busting with the boys? So you want to use due him to for my lack, Yeah, due, no, due to my lack of understanding what that moment was, I thought he was like one of the, the main guys. This is now a compliment. Really I don't know what's shit out of him right now. I thought this started as a compliment, but you're just <laughs> dissing him. No, no, no. What a mistake you made. Yeah. You <laughs> thought he was a big deal, massive. So you brought him on your podcast to make yourself a bigger well, deal. Well, because he was no, because he was driving down to Nashville to do to that. save yeah, lives. Of course, to save lives yeah, after a tornado. Oh, during, yeah. COVID. during COVID with yeah. Bud Lights. Yes, Dana was actually there's an alternate universe where Dana's the uh, like second producer of Pardon My Take because he was our intern. And oh, we didn't yeah. right when we moved to New York, and w- they wouldn't give us any more help. So he was like, "I can't keep doing this just for free." Was Ken Jack one of your interns? Too? Ken Jack was also. Ken Jack wow. did clips for us. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, Dana could have been, could have been that. He's a great guy. Oh look at that! And instead, I got stuck with these. Two. So did you feel fooled afterwards? You were just like, "Wait, yeah. Dana's not shit." No, not really. It was like during the interview and he's like talking about, you know, his story and where he lived and everything else. And then. <laughs> so wait, in the middle of the interview, you're, you're like, like, this oh, guy, no. I started. To, I started. He's to a bum. Put other things. Together. I was like, oh, so they know you don't get paid very much. And then I realized, like, you know, nobody gets paid that well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. That's a joke. We can. Oh, it's not a joke. He talked about uh, we're all living. I'm kidding, but his apartment setup and everything else. And I started to think in my head. I was like, oh, okay, I didn't do a whole enough background on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I thought you were talking to like Dave's number two. And you're like, oh, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. 
Uh, yeah, Dana going down in the middle of like the height of COVID. It was like the first week of COVID. Yeah, yeah, because and he's like, I'm coming to Nashville, and Nashville was like on one of the headlines for like you know everybody down on Broadway, and Dana was out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, well these got he went down to we talk about this all the time. They lost their home in a tornado. Yeah, yeah. And we, he was like, I gotta get there with beer. Yeah, I'm and, the beer man. And that that happened. Like we were all standing out, you know, <laughs> yeah, we were all in the rubble the of their home. And this dude was like, yeah, the tornado came at this point and, you know, knocked half the house out here and we're just standing there holding beers. And, <laughs> and they're like, but we're Dana, we're so fired up that you came down here. He's like, yeah, anything for the boys. Dana's <laughs> chugging a beer to you shook me all night long as it drips on family <laughs> photos on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was after the gazillion beers run too, right? Oh, yeah. During. Yeah. yeah, during. yeah. That was like Quite peak. Amidst. Yeah. Because he like sold all that merch, right? A million? He sold a ton of merch. So much. Yeah. He also just never was sponsored by a beer. It was amazing. Yeah. He, I remember he's when so he told perfect, me that, man. I was like, wait, what? Oh, he was. He was? No. He was like, I'm thinking about making the switch. It was He, he was Bud Light. Oh, no. was Miller Light, and then I asked Well, that him. wasn't. Those aren't plates, are they? That's, yes, uh. No, they're 20. Oh, no, pounds. Max. Uh, cover those your are belly. Not plates. Cover your belly. Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same weight he was squatting, isn't it? Yeah. We're doing a slow build up. You can't do that right now, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, trying not to get. What's the guy? What, what is that? 275? I mean, no, he's, no, he's repping. He wasn't repping 275. No, I'll those tell are you exactly what he's doing. The workout plays. today was. We're what? Just a slow build up. Those are 45s, right? No. I don't. They're 25s. Him throwing around 275 would be. The workout those today are, was. Oh, that is one big, 140 That's a big on, bumper plate. Yeah. That's a big 25 uh, pounder? No, that's what 45. It, Max! How much is on the bar? It's more than Big Cat said. Well, how much? No, no, we're, no, I'm asking. I'm just asking. 185? 185? Yeah. 185, I was off. Oh. He's a beast. Damn. Who's that on it? That's Hank. Hank. I think they took some off. Uh, I yeah, no, Hank got to take some wanna... off. Yeah, what if it just dropped on his <laughs> Hank's <laughs> throat? <laughs> Spot, Hank. As Paige and Max are talking. <laughs> Hank's just wiggling under the bar. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be an unreal video. Be, I can the... see it so perfect. <laughs> uh, happened to Joe McKnight. <laughs> <laughs> On his throat. Wait, well, he died, yeah, right? Yeah, USC. Oh, oh. I don't, who's the McKnight? I don't want to be that guy. Joe McKnight did die. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I don't yes. want to be that guy, but it was a different USC running back. It was not Joe McKnight. <gasps> I thought it was. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, was it? I think it was, I don't remember his name, but it was not Joe McKnight. Joe McKnight did die in a shooting in, in New Orleans later. I, I think I don't think it was Joe McKnight. Are you sure? Look that up. Look that up, TJ. I think he's Stephon Johnson. Stephon Johnson. Oh, oh no, man. man! It happens. Crushed it. Reconstructive surgery. Okay, he dropped it right on his. Fuck. Uh, oh. He was doing it with his hands open. Oh. And it just rolled off on his. That's right. His, yeah. Didn't have his, like his thumb looped mm -hmm. around. Oh. We had to. When was that? Uh, we had to like redo a lesson on bench press from that. From that. Yeah. When was that? Two thousand nine. Yeah, oh nine. I do it yeah, that it was way a lot too. Of my secret though is I don't do enough weight to where if it hit my neck, it could fall and just, be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just bounce. I just I'll just it. cough a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> cough it off. Swallow, yeah, but the Adam's yeah. apple pushes it off. I mean, that was a good call that it was a USC I was a player. All right, 11. you can't you can't do that though. You can't say a fact I, that was that's bad. False, that was bad. and that then be bad. like, oh, I was a kid. That was hey, bad. I'm just here that to help. Bad. It was, it was a good save by Re Brandon. Redeem yourself. Brandon didn't know who hey, it was. Say though. something. KB, you're pretty. You're going pretty hardcore. <laughs> because I know what his potential is. Yeah. He's, he's an, oh, we gotta he, he can't do that. We gotta push this guy. That, you gotta push this guy. Can't yeah. do that. Oh, KB's right an investor. I'm like Rob Deerdeck with Johnny Drama. So say something. What? Yeah, <laughs> How do those names go? That was just his. That was just Drama, his cousin. Or not? Yeah, Drama. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel West Coast. Is that what you're going for? No, Drama. No, he, it was his cousin. Cousin. He pushed him. Hank is covering up Max's belly. Pushed him too far. We can still see his belly. <laughs> How can I redeem myself? Oh, you're good. You don't need redeeming. Which NFL player has a, their own mustard company? Oh, Bichon Mustard, please. Wait, what? Uh, who else is invested in you? I don't know. I, mean, I, I have. Heavily. I'm day one. Right? Yeah. I guess everyone here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is Brandon? Yeah. Brandon is now. Yeah. Okay. When are we going uh, public with our stock offerings? 
think we keep that low key. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that. <laughs> that doesn't seem like something you keep low key. Wait, did Dave buy? Well, so public. Dave bought a shitload of Spirit Airlines and then just crashed today. <laughs> yes. Yes. The stock, yeah. not any. Yeah, but what yeah. what happened? It, like, it went. It lost like thirty percent. A like, report came out that they might like restructure and like merge with another airline. And he I bought. All right, so Dave Portnoy, the president of Barstool Sports, announced at 11.55 he had bought <laughs> Spirit Airline. That exact minute, Spirit Airline announced restructuring per Wall Street Journal's making his investment fall 25% immediately. That's when he bought? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> How is that possible? Wait, what did he say about it? Awful time. I think he thinks that it's... <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna have to grind harder for that, dude. <laughs> this is <laughs> unbrutal. <laughs> so brutal. That's steep. Yeah, that's that, brutal, but very funny. Starting off at a twenty-five percent loss. Yeah, instant. So bad. You gotta buy more. <laughs> this is like the Rocky Balboa story. He's climbing back. <laughs> it's only down eighteen. <laughs> yeah, he's fighting. Yeah, we do fly. What the fuck? We fly in this country. Does anyone else want to do the gauntlet? We got anything else to talk about? Hmm. Um. Pepper Liam with more questions. Hmm. It's Doug sniffing. What was, what was your question? Who has a mustard company? Yeah. Bijan. He got it easily. Yeah. Who, uh, who's the president or founder of the virtual reality company called Status Pro? I don't even know what that is. Well, is it is it you? Not as good as I thought. Yeah, who, who is it? Like a friend of yours? <laughs> yes, yes, Andrew you. Hawkins. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Andrew Hawkins. Oh. What former running backs? One of his parents was in De La Soul. Oh, oh shit! What is De La Soul? Okay, R and B group. All right, um, all right. Early oh yeah, we can't be asking me like music okay. questions. That is That's not Trey on Mason. Brain. This former oh, NFL they call him running Trey back. La Soul was arrested and charged with the murder of his ex-wife <laughs> and a waiter, uh, but was eventually not convicted of the crime. Do I actually have to? You have to answer this. You don't have to do what you don't want to do. <laughs> do it your way. You're, all, you're also talking about a future mostly sports guest when you say this name, so. He's, no, you got OJ? Say. Yeah, we got OJ coming. When? We don't really have him booked per se. Oh. So oh, we, we, we got offered OJ him. once for doing a video. Can't remember what it was for. And you didn't take him? It was picking him up from jail. And we we're like, ah, I don't think You should so. have done that. No. <laughs> I don't think so. I'd do that. Wait, what? Picking no. up OJ from jail? No. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. No. Who offered That's you that? That's a great idea. <laughs> uh, you're can't just remember. trying to relive your childhood. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who set that up? OJ did fuck my mom. I can't remember what company wanted to do it. I fell apart. Like, we were like, ah, like, I don't think so. And then it fell apart anyway. But, yeah, it was a wild idea. Yeah, it's crazy. Interviewing him directly I mean, out of listen, jail. Your success speaks for itself, but I think you swung and missed on that one. I don't know. You should have picked OJ it's up from. kind of a bad guy. When the uh, pandemic. A bunch of bad guys. Yeah, that's never stopped you before. <laughs> it's a bunch of bad guys out there. When the pandemic had just started going and everyone was, like, going to stores, just stocking up on, like, toilet paper and paper towels and water, et cetera. There's a picture of OJ at the, the Costco right near us in Vegas. Just has a massive haul. Nothing left at the Costco. Oh, bad guy. That was bad for us. We had to, we had to go to a different grocery That's store. That's the last straw. Yeah. It's probably the worst thing he's ever done. Yeah. There he is. Look at that uh, haul. Uh, <laughs> oh, damn, OJ. He's masked up, though. What was he in jail for the last time? Stealing memorabilia back. Oh, that's right. Stealing his own stuff that somebody had... <laughs> Either bought or that's the plot of Black Panther. <laughs> that's what the villains are doing. Is that? Mm -hmm. I love that movie. Yeah, I could tell. That's the party that Forrest Gump. I. That's my number one movie. Stealing back your own shit. Yeah. No. But he had sold it. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. I feel like it was armed <laughs> yeah, robbery. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Might have been armed robbery. You're right. Might have been a gun involved. Ah. Uh, Hey, he's he's too Twitter. recognizable to do it. Yeah, that's yeah. You know OJ. He's Who's that big yeah, guy stealing you, all the OJ memorabilia? <laughs> I mean, once you get away with yeah, you just also that's look at the memorabilia. The big no. guy that would be his first identifier to me. Yeah, 
Yeah, the big guy. Who's that big guy? <laughs> that's it. I'm being progressive this you year. You can understand why. <laughs> Armed he robbery he and crime. kidnapping. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's an addition. Oh. I think he held somebody in a hotel room or something. Okay. Or wouldn't let him leave. I, I don't, yeah. A kidnapping. Is that kidnapping if it's an adult? Yeah. Really? Still called kidnapping, right? Not Why? Not. You can kidnap an adult. Yeah, I think. That's the name of the crime. That's not. Yeah. Isn't it just kids? Yeah, like, no. Think if I had like kidnapping. Nick at gunpoint in a hotel room and he couldn't, I wouldn't let him leave. I'd call him a pussy for not Yeah, kidnapping. someone. Yeah. Yeah. Pussy napping. Okay, so we got two words. Else? That's adorable. Yeah. Should, should we do a poo day tomorrow? I'm out tomorrow. Mm-hmm. That was today. Oh, so no Where are you going? I know, but oh, uh, fellas, tomorrow because you're out. I'm out. You're I'm, out. I'm in. Where are you going? One of my uh, fellas got arrested. <laughs> Your fellas got arrested? No. Really? What fellow got arrested? Fish Bandit. Oh, I'll be the back. ATM oh, guy. Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, that guy was killing doing fish. Exactly that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good. <Yeah. laughs> no, we owe a, f- a, f- a fellow Friday. Oh, he he's. Uh, I'm going to Madison to see Wisconsin play Indiana in basketball. The people want you to paint up again. That? You gotta paint. I know Nick's trying to get me to paint my my titties again. Do it, dude. They were good. Do oh. it. I think you do it, but you don't sit in the student section. Yeah. You just get like a I don't have that's seats like in the student section. How many 15. chances in life do you get to paint your titties? Just the middle. I, every time I go to yeah. a game. Yeah. You could do it every day. Yeah. Should do a body painting day. That'd be cool. Oh. Look, look at that. those. Yeah. Those are good. <laughs> what yeah, those are good. I'm just jiggling. And if you didn't want to like do it the whole time, you know, you just kind of flash the crowd to get them going. Yeah. <laughs> like what I got underneath. Yeah. Yeah. The old paint. Get some beads thrown at me. Yeah. So YouTube allows naked nudity if it's painted, right? Oh, yeah. It's or male. if it's breastfeeding or yoga, from what I've heard. Really? We should start breastfeeding. It's non-sexualized nudity. Yoga's the loophole. On Twitch, the, the there was a lot of a long time where you couldn't show male nipples. It's your shirt. Oh, really? Yeah, but they reclassified that to non-sexualized. Have we talked nipples. about Joe Rogan's nipples in the cold plunge? No. no. What can we just have a conversation real quick? Because Will's here. What's why is everyone doing cold plunges? Because New Year's just happened. Right, but it's like if you had to like say <laughs> what 2024 so <laughs> is. <laughs> what you, what you Doy. It's <laughs> Stan- New resolutions. It's are Stanley Cups right for chicks and cold plunges for guys. Yeah. Uh-huh. I would agree with that. Stanley Cups. Yeah, yeah those those yeah. cups. Those coffee. You know, oh, I thought you were talking. Oh, hockey. you could surely understand my confusion. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Stanley Cups right? are just for chicks? It's like hot it's a, cups. Yeah. It's a brand of. I have one. Oh. You have a Stanley Cup? Yeah, yeah. You're a hot girl. That's what I'm asking. Gay man. <laughs> what color is it? It's black. Okay. Yikes. Wait, so what is the cold plunge supposed to do for you? There's a lot of benefits of cold plunge. We can go through this, and you can bring it up on the internet. I'm sure Kyle's probably filled everybody in before. No, nah, I don't know. He's done cold <laughs> plunge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just kind of did. Yeah. So you've done the cold plunge. There is so many times where I was just going in the cold plunge. like That was the worst thing of the week for me. And then getting out, and I was like, that was... Um, Kyle's the best same. kind of bro like science it, guy because he doesn't try to convert anybody else. Right. And he, he also yeah. doesn't like, even convert himself. Yeah, like he'll try it, it yeah. and then be like, that was stupid. We have to he pry the shit you're, you're doing out of it. Yeah. Huberman stuff for a minute. I am. No. The cold plunge, you feel, it feels great getting out. Like, probably because you just stimulate it like yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah, worst it feeling do? in the what, world. What about yeah, like Rogan's if you, nipples? If you, so if we're talking strictly uh, Huberman, if you put like 11 minutes in per week, you start tapping into your brown fat adipose tissue. So you can start, it can boost your metabolism, weight loss on just the mm-hmm. physique side. But as far as like mood and everything else, it's like uh, as close as you get essentially to cocaine. So can you do 11 minutes just once? Uh, I think he says to break it up three to four times. <sighs> but then break I don't know where to put it sessions. in my house. You don't have to put it in your house. Where put would it outside. But then I'd have to go outside. He'd get all cold. Yeah, it'd get cold. I don't want to do that. Yeah, dude. but the minute you get out of the cold tub from being outside, like you see, obviously you're starting to warm up because you're not in the the frigid cold water anymore. Yeah, I think I'm out. But that's ultimately like the theory behind it, like mood. Have you noticed physique. a change? Uh, I mean, I do several things, so I don't really know if it's like as far as my mood. Yeah, I noticed that. In the morning, I have? I feel yeah, better. Yeah, yeah feel absolutely, decently better. Like almost like a caffeine boost. Yes. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have to do it after I work out or can I just do it? They advise you not to do it after you work out 
because you don't want to shut down your inflammation. You don't want to shut down your inflammatory response. So I could just do it. Yeah, you could just do it. You could just do cold tub. So when do you do it as part of your routine? It's like wake up, morning, and go as, like the second you get up. But I put one in my shower. shower? Breakfast I get first. Kept on I do. In shower. From being underneath the, the shower? covers and stuff, I can't. Yeah, you can do. Cold how do you shower, do? How does water. you do? I do the oh, shower. Oh, just cold shower. You can do cold shower. Oh, is that the same as? Yeah, you get the same benefits. Probably not as good, but probably not as good. But it's that is part of like people are like oh if you can't like you know get a cold tub or anything like that you can do cold showers. I don't want to start doing this. It's gonna suck. Yeah. Have you seen Stone Cold try to do it? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. That was very yeah. funny. really I think broke. He, me. he might have to change his name. You can't just be called Stone Cold and you can't get in the cold water. Stone Warm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what they're gonna have to call. It. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I guess I gotta get a cold tub. I think you'd mess with it. The shitty part is but it. Then how do you it honestly clean never it? really gets easier. But do you clean it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a, uh, I did like a flush last week. And how often do you clean it? Uh, I've done it like once every two weeks. I think Hank's doing them now. Yeah, and then what do you do? You put you put ice in it? No, I, I mean yeah. So now with the the weather the way it is, you can just kind of like let it sit. Dude, but yeah, his is, nipples are insane. He's built like a pit bull. But how you long? could get like, BC. There's there's no doubt you could you could probably get that. Cold tub right there. And those ones, they just stay cold the entire time. You wouldn't have to put ice in them. Really? Because they have like a... Um, it's like a... Yeah. They have like something connected to it that keeps it chilled. A chiller. And just sits in there. A Japanese no. and Korean woman would do this in the ocean in like 35 degree water for 8 to 12 hour shifts back in the day. And they... Really? Had, like, You've they were the healthiest people in the world. Well, you also get like all that the uh, the salt, like the magnesium and stuff yeah. like that from being in the ocean. You've explained the benefits of the cold plunge. What is it about it that you have to film yourself doing it? Yeah. Uh -huh. it yeah. Oh, that's just what is that? That's just part wanting of it. to. That's just like wanting to post, right? Like you're just like. Well, but how is that something <laughs> you like? You feel why do so many men <laughs> feel like that is worthy of posting? Uh, I feel what like is it, it about that? That's like, like a, you know what people would love to fucking see. Because it, it makes them. It it's a fad, right? Keeps like, them like, in like, there, yeah. like. The it's fact like that it's kind of filming, like, they have more motivation to, uh, and yeah. adrenaline to s stay in that water. Yeah. It's like an account. But, yeah, you don't have to fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the teach, cool exactly. Yeah. No, the, the posting. No, but the accountability. It. Yeah, if I don't tweet, then I feel bad about not tweeting. Yeah, the same yeah. reason you'd post anything if you want to, whether it's you're getting benefits from it or status signaling. Like, oh, look how beast I am being in the cold tub. Look at me now, you fucking I right, so gotta find a cold tub that can fit. Yeah, but TJ, you're on a journey, and it's yeah. like I can follow your journey. Like, just seeing a guy get into a cold body of water. <laughs> They're proud. It's it's a hard yeah, feat. Yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. goes... <laughs> yeah, like getting fired up to get in the cold water. I'm yeah. seeing a physical change in TJ, too. Like, seeing yeah. the first to the last. Like, it's... So there's like actually... Me as the consumer of TJ's content, I, I find value in, in observing That's it. That's right. Watching someone post a yeah. cold plunge video yeah, after like the, the fourth consumer, post, it's like what is yeah, it? Know. What am I getting out of this? Right, we believe that you did it's it. Curiosity, right? Like if you uh, saw this one's good. <laughs> this one was good. Right. <laughs> God damn it! So how long do you go in for? Uh, oh. three minutes at three. a time. That's it. But the last couple need. days with it being zero, I've only done it for like ninety seconds. Yeah. Uh, shit. So you got to do it four times a week? Ah. Uh. Yeah. That's what I do to do the most minimal time as possible it. to get the 11 minutes. Hey, what, uh, hey, what's up, uh, God? Hey, <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? It's Steve coming to the Broke Skull Ranch. <laughs> and he got this. Uh, this screen. is sad. This is my hero. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? It's Steve coming to the Broke Skull Ranch. <laughs> Can't even hey, what's get it up. up? Everybody, it's Steve coming to the Broke Skull Ranch. <laughs> Good on him for posting. First cold plunge and renewed therapy. <laughs> Uh, my shop says 43 degrees right now, so I'm sure the water is sub 50. I was going to start off at 50. It's going to be a little bit colder than that. And uh, we're going three minutes here. Once it gets on to 12 and five, four, three, two, down we go. God damn. <laughs> 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 Son of a bitch. Oh. You, gotta, you have to get all the way to your neck. What's is that even that That's, cold? It's, if you get up to your 40? neck, there's like yeah, it's really like cold. This, that is cold. Yeah. Vegas nerve that you're trying to tap into. 
a vagus nerve think? that controls your stress <laughs> response. So if you're some like you know, it can like help you, you know, your level headedness. I guess like your response to stress. I don't believe any of this shit. I don't believe any I of science. I love junk science, so I'm in. Yeah, the I'm only gonna get a cold. Tub. It's more you got to change your you got to well, change your me, entire I, mindset about everything yeah, regarding your lifestyle yeah. to oh. get the benefits. Mook, you can't I, just be I like, bet I'm a if, shithead. I'm gonna do this and then be a shithead afterwards. Yeah, like if you fully immerse yourself into a protocol of all the junk shit that you're saying, like oh, I don't mess with it, probably. Yeah, you're like I think it's gay. If you did it for like 60 days, I bet the before and after you'd be like, okay, I do believe in this. Yeah, the only things I understand about my body right now are piss, shit, and cum. Mm-hmm. That's it. I, you, That's I don't think you're, I, you don't have shit figured out. <laughs> no, <laughs> nor come. No, nor come. Um, I got come so down piss. pretty well. I think piss is good, but yeah, I, I I don't know. I I think you're right if I committed to it, but like right now, it's like one cold plunge isn't going to change my life. You know? No, but that's why it's like you got to stack days. And TJ, I mean, hell, we're talking about yeah, TJ. Like TJ. He'll tell He's you a that. perfect example. Yeah, of yeah. Staff oh, commitment. God. I gotta be a cold punch. Before. And that might be what you know, Mark being invested in it. You like see this change over the course of time. When do you do it? In the morning. Yeah, I'm. I'm not anti cold plunge. I'm anti like. Yeah, you could. I don't know. I, a, I, I. I just don't need to be on anti, Instagram. You're like the anti posting. I want to see. I want to see tits and ass on Instagram. I don't need to see guys getting in cold tubs. That's got right. a point. Amen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, maybe that's just me. You know, like maybe that's got a point. You know, <laughs> different <laughs> strokes. Guy like yeah, you, yeah, but a guy like me, yeah, man, I'm just trying to see some. Yeah, tits maybe, and ass. maybe I'm not gay. Like yeah, I just like tits and ass. You know what I mean? So, what's the nerve? It's called the vagus nerve. Like Las Vegas? And hey, that's how I chalk you. it up as. Yeah. Is that it? Is it the vagus nerve? I'm leaning on. I don't feel like you. I don't. I don't know. But I feel like part of you does know. No, I don't. It's as simple <laughs> as, a, yeah, this kind of makes me feel better. I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah. But you're tapped into, like, all the science, and you're yeah. listening to Huberman and everything, okay? Yeah, yeah. Ben Greenfield was, like, who we listened to, like, playing football and everything, because he did, like, all – he basically, like, uses his body as a guinea pig, and he, like, tests himself with everything. So he'd be into all, like, the biohacking. Okay. Why didn't you um, cold tub during – your football career, because that would be... I did. That you did every yeah. day? But with football, you would do it, like, after practice. You, like, do it after you're, like, working up a sweat. Yeah, Not, yeah. like, getting out of bed or, like, being just a, a completely normal state and then going to some... I gotta, so. If I could fit one in my shower, I'd consider doing it. In your shower? Yeah, because I want to shower right after. Immediately. Do a three-minute cold hey. shower tomorrow or try as long as you can. Cold hey. shower seems way worse. It does. Yeah. The shitty part... Honestly, is like doing it right when you get out of bed right. because you're coming out of the warm covers. You truly do not want to do it. I'll go and work out and then I'll like fully cool down. And then before I go in, I'll just I'll do you go in naked. Uh, no. OK, because I don't want to see what that would be. I uh, <laughs> so wouldn't be able that's to the it. issue with the shower. I, I, I have a photo I can show you after. We, OK, I can show you. After Wait, we. is it is it is it funny? It's good. You have a it's photo good. of your freshly cold tub penis. Well, yeah, it was the yak case. Yeah, because uh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Caleb, Caleb Presley, he does cold plunges too. So we were kind of swapping stories back and forth. So I gave him swapping. I gave him swapping cold plunges. I gave him. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I gave him. Yeah, yeah. I'm with like a content that like just just do the cold plunge. I gave him <laughs> photo. And like, just so I'm but mentally this is, this is I'm about to see like we're texting back and uh, forth. He's like, oh, what, what you know, what's your penis look like right uh, now? Another. Am, <laughs> am I about to see your bare penis? No, not bare. Oh, okay, not bare. Oh man. Has any woman ever done this? <laughs> let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. What? It looks like a pimple. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pinky. Yeah. You know those things you would get in like birthday party bags? Like you could flip them inside out and they pop up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Is the FBI going to flag him for child porn? Are they going to Maybe. Maybe. You never Maybe. know. You never know. Yeah. He's like, what's that meat looking like? And I was like, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. You and I have a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right, I'm gonna cold plunge, dude. Do it. Let me know what you think. It's just all if I can fit it in my shower. And just send it to me. Don't put it on the internet. All right. Don't don't. don't mm -hmm. I'll, I'll don't cold let, shower don't tomorrow. Don't let Mark. Don't piss him off. Yeah, because like going outside and then coming back inside, that would suck. Uh, yeah. I mean that. Yeah, that part sucked. I take my son to school, so I got a routine where it's like now I'm gonna have to wake up earlier. But if you just do cold shower, it's a, a couple minutes. Sounds miserable. All right, TJ, you want to spin the wheel? Uh, by the way, Pro Football Football Show, we got a big guest this week. Mm -hmm. Am I in dick debt to you? Nick Tarani. Do I have to show you my dick? 
Yeah. Be, Is that how that works? Here, but, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, hang on. Unspoken. Are you wanting to? No. I think you do. It's how about the fuck? But I feel like that's a thing, right? <laughs> like yeah, stick to no. like that. Definitely. Invite. Just because I showed you that, now you owe me. I yeah, don't owe you. I think you I show have me yours. To. I show you mine. Well, that's all. Okay. It's a dick debt, dude. What if this sucks? Cold plunges are just the gateway to guys becoming gay. It's like we both <laughs> cold so. plunge. I mean, we're kind of already doing it. Yeah, it's, it's like you cold plunge with Andrew Tate. You just want to hang out with your dudes. Damn, yeah. man. I want to see my boy's dick, so I'm gonna make him cold plunge. <laughs> That's it. You really feel like it's made you feel better, not placebo. Yes, yes, but it could a thousand be percent. No, no, mm. it's not placebo. Hmm. Hmm. Give it a shot. Like I, I'm I give, give it a I, shot, but I'm not going to tell anyone I'm giving a shot. You guys can tell me if you think that I've changed. Okay. Huh? Or maybe what's, I didn't. Do what's it. the time frame here? Next two weeks. Next, next two months, yeah. I will maybe cold plunge or maybe not. How, what yeah. do you think the residual is? Like a few hours. If you had to guess, it's hard to say. It might be, yeah, because I can't. I don't know. It definitely makes me feel better. With your experience, do you feel like it lasts like a few hours? Why are you doing this, man? (laughs) I was like, I don't know. You're just doing it. (laughs) No, it it makes me feel a lot better, and it's it's become a habit. Like I wake up, get out of bed, and go right to the cold shower, and it sucks every time, but it's now I'm doing it every day. Do you air squat while you're in there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I want to be tougher. Yeah, you do, big cat. Are you like making noises still? Like, like, does it hurt you still? Or are you just used yeah, to it? Yeah, it's like especially now in the like the, with the weather, it's so hard. It is like pure <laughs> torture every morning. And I think f- sounds completing terrible. Completing something like that not only makes you feel better physically, but mentally, pridefully, and then it, it like translates to the weight room. I'll push myself harder in there on the treadmill. Talk to him, yeah. kid. Damn. Yeah. All right. Will, when you least expect it, you're going to look at your phone and we'll be even. Love that. I just know when your name pops up on my phone what it's going to be. No, I'm going to send it to you. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Big Cat will send you a picture of my dick. (laughs) (laughs) No, it could be anybody. Could be anybody. anybody. Okay. Anyone in this room. All right, TJ, spin the wheel. We got Nick's coming on Pro Football Football Show today. Talking ball. Divisional round. Yep. We're good. We're good. All right. See everyone tomorrow. I'll be out, but see everyone tomorrow. We do owe a fellow for maybe we'll do a fellow Thursday or a fellow Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're out yeah. for a couple of days next week. Yeah. Same. And so are you, Mook. So maybe next three weeks in a row I'm out like Thursday, Friday. And maybe I'll be back for the long haul after this. Hello. I list oh. Corey, Sean, Topanga, Mary Kate, <laughs> Ashley, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, Mary Kate. <laughs> Harley, Craig, Joey, Luke, Lee. Oh, uh, it's a big part of both Boy, Meet, Boy and Girl Meets World for the record. They're both Michael Jacobs creations. Okay. But he is, you are, wait, you're fifth. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah you're fifth. Well, sixth. Oh, Mary Kate sixth. and uh, Oh, yeah, you're sixth. Uh-huh. You're sixth. <laughs> all right, not bad. Yeah, that's, that's no, great. Yeah. Yeah, all right, not bad. Liam, thank you very much. Yeah, you're the man. Thank you're the you, best. Thank you, Liam. All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs>